Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Days Gone. As you can see, I was in here uh, messing around a little bit before I got started. Um, I was having a good time. You can see what we're doing here. Uh, kicking it with the sawmill horde, you know, as one does on a Friday evening, I reckon. Uh, anyway. So, who do we have with us this evening? Webster Ross, first one in the chat. What is up, Ross? How are you, man? Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. What's up, Jerry Bear? How are you, sir? And Nightbot is on the clock. Good job, Nightbot. Melissa S. and 8-Bit Terror. Good evening, ladies. How are y'all? Uh, working and lurking. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, all right. So, fucking day's gone, man. Uh, I like to get on here and kick around a little bit before I start the live streams just to get some muscle memory going. Um, cause like I've, I haven't played days gone since we did last week. I mean, shit, we did like a four hour stream last week. Uh, I had a great time then, but, uh, <clears throat> but I haven't played since then. I don't think I even played over the weekend. Over the weekend I was playing a uh, fucking fallout four, man having a bit of a nostalgia kick. Uh, but yeah, I've been uh, also messing around in photo mode a little bit. I, I love photo mode in Days Gone. They did such a good job with this. Um, but I was uh, looking at what I... Hang on. What, sorry. What I really wanted to see was uh, some stuff we had talked about on the Days Gone subreddit recently. Uh, see, this is where I had left it at. Uh, we were talking about penetration. That's right. You heard penetration. Uh, now, we were talking about um, there was a post of somebody scored two headshots uh, with, uh, I think, the MWS, which is a, a decent early game weapon, but it is an early game weapon, so it's not super accurate. Um, and this dude scored two head or I, I apologize, this individual scored two headshots. Uh, just pop, it lined it up just right and got them both in the head. Uh, and so, of course, there were uh, people were discussing penetration on uh, the bullet penetration of different weapons. And I think someone had been talking about hordes and like how the sniper rifles are useless against hordes. Um, well, that's not entirely true. I mean, no, obviously they're not ideal, but they're not useless either. Ma'am, where do you think you're going? Anyway, uh, so yeah, their sniper rifles are not necessarily useless against the hordes. Uh, plant some traps, gotta plant some traps. Not ideal, but not useless. Check it out. You can get quite a few shots. Now, there's uh, shit, uh, Borslav 24 7 uh, shows in some of his videos. I think there's one of the challenge mode, uh, one of the challenge, there's one of the challenges that you, he starts with the sniper rifle and gets a lot of shots. Uh, with it, and uh, I mean, I like it. If you pop a focus cocktail first, and you have like the the challenge patches that give you increased penetration, and you have the skill that gives you increased penetration, you can actually hammer on the sawmill board for a few seconds. Um, well, I should have set it as an objective if we can, where you can actually see the health bar on them. Now, you can see with that focus cocktail active, our focus meter has already fully regenerated while we were reloading. Okay, now we're not getting as many hits. I think we need the next bit to activate. There we go. Oh, shit! There we go. So that's all we got from the, uh... Dang it. I hate that they moved the suppressor. There. Got quite a few kills there just with the fucking sniper rifle. And of course, there's still tons of them, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see. Can we set it as our objective? And let's see how many we actually got. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> All right. I was actually expecting that far to have moved more than that. Yeah. Anyway. So what I wanted to do tonight was, uh, we finished our playthrough um, last week. Uh, we actually got to do, uh, we got to uh, have that last meeting with Lisa, the last meeting with O'Brien, and um, we also um, saw Ricky and uh, Ricky and Addie. 
Uh, so we did all of it and wiped out all the hordes just in that one episode. It was crazy because I, I was kind of, I kind of figured we wouldn't get to wrap up all of it. Like, you know, O'Brien won't do the radio call or something. I was fully expecting all that. Violet Jones is here. Good evening, all, and happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday indeed. And Travis Stamper made one of my streams. What's up, Travis? Welcome, man. Welcome. Good to see you. Um, yeah, uh, it it is actually a happy Friday. I got off work early today, like 15 minutes, but still, uh, it was a hard day. As you can tell, I'm, I'm actually fucking exhausted. I can barely even speak straight. Uh, we did harvest this week, um, which actually turns out this place that I work at, they do harvest more often than I thought. It's usually like, uh, every, it'll be like a third on three weeks, they'll do a harvest. And then like two weeks, there's another one ready. And then one more ready. And then like three and two and one, uh, it's, it's nuts how it's staggered. Uh, but it's, it's pretty, uh, intense physical labor. You know, like I've actually gotten like in better shape just since I've started working there just because I'm really active all day, most of the time. Uh, so they wore my ass out yesterday and today. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and do survival and let's fuck around with the crossbow, man. I'm, I, you, my regular viewers, you guys know, I don't enjoy the crossbow. It's not fun to me, but I really do want to do something different, man. Uh, like I'm a little bit jealous, uh, that 8-Bit Terror did her modded playthrough recently, uh, before me. Uh, cause like, well, it's, now it's already been done, man. So yeah, I could do days gone on the pc with huge modded hordes and stuff and we probably will do that eventually anyway I, you know it's coming uh but it's already been done just recently so like that's not really new for me to do but something i've never really done is like actually try to use the crossbow on a playthrough and um, it's been a while since i've done survival 2 i've done quite a few playthroughs on survival 2 but it's been a while uh Hard 2 is my personal favorite. As as a fan of Days Gone, just discussing Days Gone within the community, Hard 2 is my personal favorite playthrough, uh, my personal favorite difficulty setting for Days Gone, um, simply because it is the highest difficulty that you can have and still have those little quality of life features like the option to fast travel if you're just recording content and want to get through some objectives really fast. Uh, or, you know, the, the mini map, the heads up display. I, I, I find myself navigating by the mini map all the time. Like I'll go, I'll go looking for the bike. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm looking at the mini map at the icon on the mini map to go find the bike or plants and, you know, herbs and shit, whatever. Uh, so I, I dig hard too, man. That's my, my recommendation for, especially folks that are new to Days Gone and maybe trying it out for the first time or just trying to get a little better at it. My recommendation is to always start on hard too. Uh, but for this, we're going to go ahead and do survival. Now it does tell you right here, survival mode increases the difficulty, minimizes the in-game user interface and blocks fast travel. And once you start a new game in survival mode, you will not be able to change it later. It does tell you that at the beginning there. So let's do it. Hey, holy shit. I need to say hi to more people. Hello, hello. Jane Sacker. Welcome in, Jane. And also Jay Stabby is with us. I, I did say crossbow. Yeah, you showed up when I said crossbow. Crazy, isn't it? Now, I'm not promising we're going to stick to that, man. Don't nobody try to hold me to that shit. Don't put that evil on me. <laughs> but um, I intend to... Kind of like we're having a fresh look at uh the last of us part two on on my monday and wednesday live streams oh hang on i don't want to talk over this um just like i'm uh having a fresh look at the last of us two on my monday and wednesday live streams it's going to be challenging but i would like to have a fresh look at days gone it's been a long time since i've just played days gone just for fun uh most of it has been work related even even if it's just streaming it well still that's like i'm I'm switched on, I'm on the camera, you know, all that stuff. Uh, uh, I don't very often get to just play Days Gone and try new stuff. Um, I'm quite often demonstrating techniques that I've already developed. Uh, so I think it's time to challenge myself and try to slow down a little bit and do different stuff. Um, again, uh, anyway, 
Uh, all right, I don't want to talk over the cutscene, so I'm going to go radio silent for a moment. But first, let's say hello to Nylon Girl 92 and Doug A. What's going on? Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's cue up this cutscene. She's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Your mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here. Okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. I only got room for two of you. You're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. Okay. Come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we are. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming? one of my favorite lines in the game. Shit. What did you do? It's almost like in Ghostbusters when uh, Ray thinks of the 50-foot tall marshmallow. Well, of course, he thought of just the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and, you know, they spawn in a fucking 50-foot tall monster marshmallow man, of course, but, you know, what did you do, Ray? Or, no, it's, the line is, Ray, what did you do? <laughs> it always makes me think of that every time they say it. Hmm. Doug, I think you're right, man. It's, we haven't really missed anything yet. Let us... Uh, I can't quit to the main menu. Oh, really? Yeah, who's winning now? <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, if we're going to fuck around with the crossbow, we should actually do a new game plus. Because, uh, Jay Stabby, you had an excellent point there um, with the fact that it takes quite a while to unlock the recipes that make the crossbow most useful. Uh, so I think it would be handy having that stuff early on. In fact, uh, I think it's, well, several people uh, from the Days Gone subreddit in particular, but I think dmarlo 310 had recommended several times uh, that the way to do it, if like if you're not really into the crossbow, but you want to play around with it, the way to do it would be on a New Game Plus uh, so that you already have everything unlocked and so that you have the skills like the, what is it knocked up and 
I can't recall the name of the other skill, um, but uh, thorn in my thorn in your side, something like that. Uh, the two that make it like like really a legit option. Uh, okay, so we are going to do new game plus, but we are going to do as well survival too. That way we'll have an added level of challenge. We need to select a save where we've completed the story. Oh yeah, we got that. All right, hang on. Uh, let's see. What I'm looking for is where's my damn rings? We should be able to start a new game plus off of this. This is actually a consecutive new game plus playthrough where I've done like multiple consecutive new game plus playthroughs uh, when I first started playing Days Gone. Uh, so we should be loading a save where we have like over 100,000 credits at most of the camps. Everything is unlocked, all that stuff. Uh, so we'll pretty much just be running through the story, uh, but maybe actually trying to use the crossbow. Rewind. <laughs> yeah, rewind. New Game Plus is the way to go. Yeah, I agree. Hey, Stickman, what's up? Stickman4131 has joined us, and DMarlo310 heard his name. Yeah, what's up, DMarlo? How you doing, buddy? Uh, how about found weapons only? Hmm. Now, we are actually going to go ahead and skip these. We just watched these, so we're not going to... We're not going to redo that. Oh, what's wrong with her? Found weapons only. See, well, if we're using the crossbow, I mean, that's more viable because the only reason I don't want to do a uh, found weapons playthrough is because you can't get a sniper rifle until, well, you can't get an even decent sniper rifle until late game. I think it's when you get to the militia camp, like end game is one of the first times you can actually pick up what was the C8 sniper rifle, early game weapon. Uh, but if we have something else in the special slot, well, that changes things a bit. Oh, you missed The Last of Us last night. Or last time. Ah, that was a good stream. I had a good time on that one. Khan is with us. Khan, welcome in. And Anton. Anton, Anton G. What's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, let's do some fresh days gone, shall we? We lost him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> yeah, D. Marlo and J. Stabby, I agree with Alvarez. both of those comments. Um, it, that'll make a difference. We'll have the right skills to make the crappy early game weapons work better. And uh, that's been my thing about New Game Plus and fresh starts. I like that fresh start because I, I like I like unlocking the crossbow at the early game. You know, I love going after those first four hordes and getting the crossbow. And I like building up through the skill tree, which I make virtually the same decisions every time, but I do switch it up sometimes. Ah, only the horde killer weapons. I love doing that. The IDF pup. Or the auto shotgun and the MG55 and the SMP9 is what I usually run. Auto shotgun, MG55, and SMP9. Okay, now I have control. <laughs> that starts as like a, just a cutscene uh, until it gives you control of the bike. I always think it, I find it interesting that uh, some people really, really struggle with the bike controls in this bit. Now, of course, I've done this dozens and dozens of times, so, I mean, there's that. But I remember doing this the first first few times and thinking, now, it did take me, like, a couple tries. I think I crashed once or twice or got set on fire by a Molotov. I'm not saying I didn't fuck it up at all, uh, but I, I don't really get people who, like, really struggle with it because I took to it really quick and was like, oh, this is going to be fucking great. This is awesome, you know? And now I still hold to the opinion that... The drifter bike in Days Gone is absolutely the best mount in any game. I cannot think of any game I've ever played where it had a better or more enjoyable, more useful traversal mode. Uh, I can't think of anything that tops it. Uh, not off the top of my head, at least. Like that? Yeah. Maybe the power armor from Fallout 4 if you have the jetpack installed. That's kind of cool. But as a means of traversal, the fucking drifter bike with saddlebags on it is just brilliant. Captain Caffeine! Welcome, buddy. Welcome. 
And did it, did I miss someone? James Guan, James, what's up, man? Damn, yeah, Survival 2. Uh, it's actually a new game plus. Uh, we're going to be messing around with the crossbow a bit, so I figured new game plus would be way a way better experience for me. You went that way. Come on. Chasing Leon. You know what? Let's have some whiskeys, yeah? I'm going to play some Days Gone on Survival 2. We might as well be chilling with the whiskey. I will be right back. Hang on. Oh, would you would you get me a whiskey, babe? Yeah. Right on. All right. Uh, Knob Creek? <laughs> She's already got it ready. <laughs> yeah, it's still there from last night. <laughs> it was kind of sitting behind the monitor. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, we're drinking some fucking Knob Creek 9 tonight. Uh, it's just a little bottle because this shit's expensive. Uh, but I like to get a bottle of good stuff every now and then. Uh, let's see. Ah, I I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. So new. Welcome in. So new. Rushed here. Just tuned in. Welcome. Well, you came in at a great time. You've been here at a great time. Uh, we're just getting started with a Survival 2 uh, New Game Plus playthrough. Outstanding. Thank you, ma'am. You're good for now? Okay. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, Claire's over there working. Um, Looks like she's doing some video editing. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're just going to pour a splash here. Um, This is our uh, one of our Bend shot glasses. We got these in Bend, Oregon when we took a... We took a Days Gone-inspired trip up to Oregon. And, uh, of course, we had to pick up some little souvenirs while we were there. Mm. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> yeah, the Survival 2 is great, except for the no fast travel. Well, maybe I was wrong about him having to deal with... Cold. And which, really, I can no, live with yeah. that. Uh, because it, it's, you know... It, you're choosing a live in the world experience, uh, you know, choosing more of an immersive exist in the world experience when you select survival two. But hey, hey, wait, wait. Uh, what gets me rather than no fast travel, what really gets me is the uh, the no heads up display. Like in general, if we're speaking broad terms of what affects my gameplay more, wait, no wait, heads wait, up here. display. Uh, as a gamer, I'm one of those people that I like an informative heads-up display. I like I love it when games give you the option to toggle certain elements off, like specific elements. Like, okay, I don't want to see the health bar. I don't need that. Or I don't want to see the mini-map. I don't need that. Stuff where you can toggle off specific heads-up display elements. I love that. But it's because I want to toggle all of them on. Like, give me all of the heads-up display. Heads-up display, yes. Uh, I love having a really informative heads-up display. If it's well laid out, you know. Because it can be uh, extra if they don't do it right. Holy shit, get oh, yeah. Down. <laughs> I forgot we were about to get shot there. <laughs> Can you tell us what studio you work for, Anton? Or do, would you even want to? Okay, let's go. You okay, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just That's a just a grace. Son of a bitch can't aim. His but a scratch. Son of a bitch. Check this out. I'm fine, boozer. For folks who are just joining us or didn't know this, right here, when you come around the corner, this is the first place you get a look at a real horde. Now, it's interesting. I believe the horde shown in this animation here isn't really the horde that lives nearby because what you're seeing here is greater numbers than uh, the horde you actually fight at this location. Uh, but this is an actual feeding site. I think they come here to feed because, uh, as most of you will know, uh, the hordes have three specific locations where they spawn in. Uh, either the the places where they take shelter or like where they go for food and where they go for water. Uh, or you can sometimes bump into them in between those locations because they actually get out and roam around. Uh, but I don't know. I, 
I guess we could try to get a head count. Uh, but I think this is actually bigger uh, than what you fight here. Because this looks like, geez, what, 50 to 75, maybe? and uh, Or more? And the uh, what you actually fight down there is probably 50-ish max. John Wagner is will with us. Welcome, John. Search him. Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know all about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste the bullet, not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, uh, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eating alive? I guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no, wait. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. Hello, you did the right thing, bro. You don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. See, I love how for Boozer, that wasn't a... It wasn't necessarily a kill of, like, we're dispensing justice. It wasn't necessarily a kill of, like, oh, this guy crossed us. It wasn't any of that. It was, well, we're not going to leave him for the freaks, you know, we're not going to just let him bleed out and get eaten by freaks. Nah, man, just go ahead and end it, you know. For Boozer, that was the decision. For Deacon, it wasn't, though. For Deacon, it was, yeah, we're done with this asshole, you know. All right. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. Okay. All right. Welcome in, everybody. I didn't want to talk over the cutscenes. I'm trying to minimize the time I spend talking over cutscenes. Seems unprofessional, if anything, he says while sitting here drinking whiskey on the clock. <laughs> Welcome in, guys. Good to see you all here. Uh, everybody, please make sure that you have liked the video. Uh, and also, uh, if you would, go ahead and select live chat. Live chat or all messages, whatever the hell it is on your device. Um, but yeah, that way you're in all of the messages. Well, this is going to be interesting. I'm not used to the early game heads up display. Like, I, I would be expecting the early game heads up display with nothing but bandages here, but it's got everything on it because it's New Game Plus. And like I was, I got lost a second ago because I was looking for my heads up display and I didn't see my fucking heads up display. It's like, where's my mini map? Oh my God, I'm lost. Oh yeah, we, we just started survival too, didn't we? <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> oh, we were going hunting tonight. Take some bounties, send it Tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Got to stock up on supplies. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be out all night though. Like, I have no idea if I still have stamina or not. So you can activate the heads-up display uh, momentarily by uh, clicking R3. But you can't spam it. It has a cooldown on it. You can't just spam it. Son of a bitch. 
Mega Man, the Blue Lion, and Ryan also, my brother. What's up, man? How y'all doing, guys? Come on in. Can we get anything out of Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. Yeah, Violet, uh, Sam's fucking acting is incredible in this game. For the most part, all of the voice acting is phenomenal. But there are quite a few lines that Sam delivered just fucking knocked it out of the park. What? Well, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's is as good a place as any. No, Dandy Denny, let's let's do a counter of like just how many times I get lost. <laughs> like if you you'll probably spot it if you're watching closely enough. You'll see me. I'll just be like, oh, just fucking hey. wandering around. I don't know where I'm at. Oh yeah, uh, no no mini map. <laughs> Once we get my bike back, let's. Head That's up that. To that should be the drinking game around. for tonight. How many times yeah. I get lost without the mini map? Okay. So tomorrow. Get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect all Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. Do you think shit's any different up north? Don't matter. I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hey, I wonder if there's a survivor in that vehicle over there. I wonder... I wonder if... Hold on, can anyone tell me, is that just... Careful. Like, is that always there? Uh, or not, because like I'm curious. I don't recall Bunch having seen that specific encounter on this drive. Come on, help me move it. Did it like spawn in a survivor encounter for this, or is that just always Ready? there? Yep. Push! <laughs> <laughs> you had full stamina to start with. Almost makes it worth it, yeah. Get them here. Uh, yes. It's always there? Okay, yeah, Claire says it's always there. You're walking away from this. Alright, here we go. Alright. I'm gonna play it safe here. And, uh... I'm gonna do maybe one hit. We have plenty of stamina, that's not a problem. Okay. Good, he missed us anyway. There we go. Yeah, one hit and roll, one hit and roll, just to play it safe. Oh man, I missed my favorite bit. When you, usually Boozer is over there just still beating the fuck out of that dude. Uh, just like beating him to death, literally. I kind of like that part. All right, Boozer, I'll ride, bitch. But you got to get on first. There. Yeah, see, yeah, um, we started a Survival 2 New Game Plus. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about messing around with the crossbow a bit, at least a little bit. Uh, and that is, a, for me, that's a much better experience Coming on, on uh, New Game Plus where everything's point. already unlocked. We're almost there. Oh, yeah, Nylon Girl, I, I saw at the end of Claire's live stream today, you mentioned that you uh, left Shit. work early today or, or got off work early. So happy Friday, but me your I hate How losing hours you? because of like being sent home early. Were y'all like ahead on production or something? That stuff pisses me off. Like where your team or whatever is working a little too fast and they meet production for the day or run out of parts for the it day. Like and it's like, man, you fuckers should have slowed down. You yeah, know, we're trying to make yeah. hours too. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. There I go using the Last of Us buttons. I try. I all. I love clicking right uh, R three or uh, the flashlight in the Last of Us. Uh, is that, it's pretty intuitive. I like that the flashlight control is there for that game. Where I often forget that it's uh, the down on the D pad in Days Gone. So you'll see me doing that, like clicking that. I'm, I'm not even trying to use the heads up display. I was actually trying to turn on my flashlight. But I have been playing a good bit of The Last of Us here recently, especially uh, The Last of Us 2, uh, the remaster. Oh, you don't even know what's going on. Just some people said you're out of parts because production can't keep up with assembly. Okay, yeah. And that is possible because um, I, I worked for a train 
uh, in, excuse me, Ingersoll Rand making uh, air conditioners. Um, and my the job that I did there was like toward the end of the assembly line, like quality testing. I would uh, leak test it um, and you know do some other like diagnostics on it. Uh, nothing glamorous, just that was my part of the job. Wave a fucking wand on it, push a few, push a few buttons, and send it on down the line. Uh, but sometimes we would end up getting sent home early because we didn't have enough units. And it's like, I'm like, motherfucker, it is summertime in Texas. Don't you lie to me. I know people are buying air conditioners. It is. I know people are buying air conditioners. It is fucking summertime in Texas, all right? <laughs> but anyway, it would always piss me off when we'd end up getting sent home early for stuff like that because, like, Okay, y'all are trying to make air conditioners. I'm trying to make ours. I I'm trying to make ours. Can we do that? Motherfucker. Anyway. <laughs> there I go again. All right. So we might as well go ahead and start filling up our inventory. Because we already have the skills, um, like carry that weight, so we have the um, increased inventory size. Oh, increased reserve ammo capacity as well. We have the up the ante skill, so you can see that the reserve ammo capacity on Boozer's shotgun is fucking 20 rounds. That's nice. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. You worked on ACs? Come That's on, cool. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left? Lob steady. Here? Welcome, welcome. Leave it here. Did I miss saying hi to anybody? If I've oh, missed yeah. saying hello, uh, please excuse me. Uh, pop up in the chat. I'll try to give you a little shout. There's a down scheduled next week, but that's canceled. Huh. Sounds like you got Fucking wish. weird, man. Production jobs, I swear. It's like the job where I work is production, but uh, we just work as fast as the plants grow, basically. <laughs> Damn. Do not get up. Don't do it. I tried to tell him. Get him, Deke. Get him. Hey, Deke, 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 Deke. Bro, mm. bro. I think it's dead. Darian, you've not played Survival 2. It's it's really not that bad. Like, do you, do you ever play on Hard 2? If you play on hard two, it's basically the exact same experience okay. with no heads up display and no fast travel. So the thing about the no fast travel that does increase the number of random encounters you have because, well, you're not fast traveling. You're, you're actually there, traveling. You uh, so there's about? that. Goddamn refugee. But it, it's game. really not you that like bad. When you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper. Oh, yeah, we can pick these up, too, to make remote bombs. Look, just drop it. <laughs> he who controls the spice controls the universe. What's up, short round? What's going on, man? How are you, bud? You know, I was just admiring. Hang on one second. One second. Now, this one's not mine. This actually belongs to 8-Bit Terror. But this is one of the uh, the custom art pieces that we got from uh, short round 007. Our good buddy, uh, he uh, contributed these to the channel for. Well, oh God, what were we even doing? It was a giveaway or something, wasn't it? We were doing. Yeah, we were just doing a giveaway, basically giving away custom artwork uh, that uh, Short Round 07 had contributed. Uh, so we got a couple of these. We got some others too. What do we have? There's a. Uh... Oh yeah, right, uh, folks. One. Uh, geez, what was it? A boozer? Yeah, boozer and Deacon. Um, yeah, yeah, and actually, you can. Yeah, yeah, it was a bunch of cool shit. You can actually, you can actually see his work on our Discord. Let me put a link in the chat here. Uh, and buttons, buttons. There's a button. Yeah. Uh, so there is a link to our Discord. Uh, you can actually see his artwork on there. Uh, lots of good shit, man. I was just looking at that one yesterday, thinking, oh yeah, that was really cool. I forget, this is not the auto shotgun. <laughs> yeah, this is not the auto shotgun. <laughs> okay. This is go. Boozer's shotgun on Survival 2. 
How bad is our health? Let's see. Oh, not bad. Okay, we really did not take much damage at all from that. Okay. Yeah, we're doing a new game plus on uh, Survival 2. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. Oh, I got it. On. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. And let's see, before we push forward, let's see if there's other stuff we can pick up. Because there may be like, uh, what was it, the airbags or remote bombs and stuff. Car alarms for a tractor or shit like that. And ammo. <laughs> you have SmackDown on in the background. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a double whammy action night. Action packed adventure. All right, here we go. Jesus! Oh, and we have the. Uh, We have the instant kill ability unlocked. That's always handy. That's one thing. That one little moment right there, I actually enjoy that in a new game plus. Uh, having this first jump scare, but you've got uh, whatever that skill is that gives you the takedown ability. I can use this. All right. Oh, wait. Stuff. Boink. Yeah, you did. There we go. I very nearly hit uh, the Last of Us buttons to reload just then. Almost fucked it up. Marius, hello, welcome in. Yeah, yeah, survival too. Uh, yeah, yeah, the health bar is not red after that first hit. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, shit, more freaks! Oh, we're going to be crafty, are we? All right. Oh, yeah, this is Boozer shotgun, not the auto shotgun. I do forget sometimes. I just, it's so many thousand, well, th so many hundreds of hours of muscle memory with the auto shotgun. It's like when I have my, when I have my shotgun up, I expect it to behave a certain way. And it's like, oh wait, this isn't the auto shotgun. It's like the other, uh, just recently, maybe our last episode, we were killing all those hordes. I equipped the crossbow uh, just for fun to go against a horde and fucked it up. Thought I had the MG55 in my hands and just rolled up on the horde ready to start kicking ass. I was like, oh shit, this is a crossbow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you don't push up with the crossbow. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of the same thing whenever I, I uh, stick Boozer's shotgun in somebody's face. I'm like, oh fuck, this is not the auto shotgun. Oh, hey buddy. Uh, how's it hanging? Anyway. Can we? I wonder. Yeah, okay, we haven't picked up any kerosene yet. I was kind of wondering, is like, would we be able to make a Molotov before then? But I haven't picked up, I haven't seen any kerosene. I don't think I've missed any kerosene. It's just like not there yet. Ah, 
polystyrene. Or polystyrene. Sorry, let me say it right. Do we need ammo? We don't even need any ammo, do we? Did I miss saying hi to anybody? Oh yeah, as game tutorial sections go, this this bit is actually pretty good. Um, I like the way they introduce... I mean, it was a bit simplistic. Uh, you take a shot to the shoulder and then you make a bandage. Okay, that's cool. That worked. But I, I love the way they introduce uh, clearing the tunnels and uh, making Molotovs and stuff. I've always enjoyed this part. Just the the fuck, the ambiance, the atmosphere inside these tunnels, dude. These tunnels are fucking terrifying. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got some kerosene. That's actually all I need, man. I did miss saying hello to Wolfie Midnight. Wolfie Midnight, welcome, welcome in. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, I love it. The vids made made me enjoy this game so much. I love to hear that. Actually, I I really like to hear that because I've spoke to a lot of people who uh, say that you know they love Days Gone, but were able to enjoy it even more because of the videos produced by myself, Borislav twenty four seven, Eight Bit Terror, host of the Days Gone podcast. You know the the content that we've put out giving people either a deeper understanding of the story and nuances in the story, or even giving tips with gameplay and how to get the challenge mode patches and defeat hordes e more easily and stuff. I love that just us having fun making videos has helped other people enjoy our favorite game even more. Love that, man. That's one of my favorite so things about this. Sec. That'll do it. Because that's that's why I first started making the Days Gone tutorial videos. The whole reason I started doing that was like, hey, I figured out how to do this thing. Uh, maybe other people will benefit from that. Let me show them how to do this thing. Oh, hello. Get your ass down from there, boy. Anyway. Hey, come on. Get on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Give me a sec. Now we should have got that ammo. But anyway, probably won't need it now. All right, let's rock and roll, man. Let's get to the next part. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. You wanted a freak show. <laughs> yeah, we did. Shit. Careful what you wish this for. Is crawling. This bit here coming up right in here ish now. Not just yet. Um, grab the newt. They just pulled the newt down and now they're chomping on a fucking newt. They're si that moment right there was like, oh fuck man, that's kinda brutal. Wow, this wow. This game's kinda fucking br like actually brutal, man. That was a kid. And, I already know and then, idea. shortly you after that, right on you pick up a baseball bat. As many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. Or you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How do you stick in something, bitches? Yeah, I don't have a death wish right now. Right now, I need a fucking fuel pump. <laughs> I don't need death. Well, not my own. I need a fuel pump. My own. Oh, this bit scared you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Goddamn newts. Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. <laughs> Yes, trust me, we know. I do wish that you could turn off tutorials. It, it actually would be nice uh, being able to turn off the tutorials. Hmm. 
Does anybody know if you can pick up a saw blade here? It'd be really cool if we could craft a baseball bat axe <laughs> right now. I bet you there's one in the shop. Does anyone know if there is a saw blade here? That'd be fucking cool. I think we'll craft a saw blade axe and go to town with it. Yeah, in the like in the uh, the shed down there with the silencer in the car. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah, we'll pick up a baseball bat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we should be able to pick one up here. Now, there's a fully crafted Molotov right here, uh, which is handy. And then also a beer bottle as well, which, of course, helps with crafting more Molotovs. So by the time you leave Crazy Willies, you should be completely full on Molotovs. Uh, hell, we might even be able to fill up on Molotovs with the new game plus here. You know, with the expanded uh, inventory size. Yeah, new game plus should not have tutorials. Agreed. I mean, I, I like to do fresh start playthroughs, uh, so I, I wish that you could toggle the tutorials on and off. I think that would be nice. That is one of those little details that makes a game even more replayable, in my opinion. Things like being able to skip the slow walking bits on a consecutive playthrough, you know, on a on your next playthrough. You should be able to toggle that kind of stuff off. Skip through that kind of stuff. Dick, how's it going, brother? You ready? Not yet. Not just yet. Not just. Garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Well, hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those. uh What the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Rippers put up. Sigils. Yeah. It means they're up here somewhere. Okay, yeah, should be a saw blade in here. I sometimes forget. I have not. Uh, I just grabbed the kerosene from there. Is there? Is that the where you were talking about that little shack over there? Okay. Cool. No, let's have a look. I often forget this suppressor here. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. It, I've never stepped inside here. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Mm, okay. I think there's one inside the shop. Yeah, in, inside the bike shop. I think there's one in there. Okay. In the main shop, yeah, inside the bike shop itself, yeah. Yeah, the, the saw blade axe is one thing that I like about uh, New Game Plus. Because uh, that is actually a really good one, and it's nice to have it right there in the early game. Uh, let's see if we get the jump scare this time. No, oh, no jump scare. Interesting. Uh, yeah, the shit that Rippers put up. Oh, yeah, stuff in the motel rooms. I want to get the, uh, well, I think there's a saw blade in there. But before we start clearing the nest, I want to go ahead and, like, have a saw blade axe with me. Before we get started. Come here, Tor. Aww. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you little fucker. Oh, dude, that's what I'm talking about, man. In the first few minutes of the game, you're beating children to death with a fucking baseball bat. If you play it that way. I guess you don't necessarily have to beat them to death with a baseball bat. Uh, but, like, that was my first playthrough. The first melee weapon you pick up is a baseball bat. And the first enemies that I engaged in open combat was newts. So, I mean, within the first few minutes, man, you're beating children to death with a fucking baseball bat. Yeah, I figure with it being a new game plus, we can go ahead and clear the nest while we're here. Um, generally, you know, like if it's a new playthrough, especially for new players doing their first playthrough, I recommend actually just moving through this area quietly, pick up supplies as you can, but move through the area quietly and leave the nest alone. 
and come back for the nest later once you have unlocked the SMP9. Uh, because if you follow my playthroughs or my walkthroughs, any of my tutorials, uh, you'll have the SMP9 unlocked shortly after this bit right here. Uh, so I do recommend getting the SMP9 first uh, and then coming back to clear clear the nest. There's that saw blade we were looking for. But of course now, being New Game Plus, we already have we have all the Nero injectors, we have all the skills and everything, all the crafting recipes. I, I think we'll be fine. Okay, in fact, let's see what we can craft. Hell, I could make napalm molotovs. I think we can clear these nests. I can make a proximity bomb. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I think the first thing I'll make is a fucking smoke bomb. In case we encounter any wolves. <laughs> fucking assholes. Can we make any of these? Yeah, we can even make like... uh tails and stuff. Oh, no, I need more. Okay, I haven't picked up enough shit. Alright, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> we're already maxed out on uh, Molotovs and we're just at crazy willies, man. Alright, oh, and we want to make that uh, baseball bat axe as well. Alright. Okay, and then we can uh, top off our scrap, too. Because there's plenty of places around here to grab scrap. <laughs> you burnt all the nest and stuff on your first playthrough here, yeah. I'm going to hold off on going up there and getting that med kit. We'll just, like, clear this area down here first. And clear the nest and stuff. Always fun smashing them newts. Wait, smashing or smashing? <laughs> and I'm sorry, um, let's see, let me get the username right here. Violet Jones, I apologize, Violet. Every time I see your username, I want to say Violet Jones. I'm not saying you're a violent person or whatever. I'm not assuming you're a violent person. I just, I see that written there, and I want to say, Violent Jones. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, hey, we need to say hello to Jean Sebastian. Hello. Hello and welcome. Yeah, welcome in. Glad to have you here. So there's a bunch of freaks around here, too. But I want to go activate the nest first. Let's do that part first. So even though there is a ton of kerosene here, we're literally already maxed out on uh, New Game Plus Molotovs uh, with the increased carry capacity. I'm still going to use these fuel cans here. One of the best ways to clear out these nests is with fuel cans because it costs you literally no resources whatsoever. <laughs> Crap, early game weapons. There we go. Anyway. Oh, this is Boozer's shotgun, not the auto shotgun. <laughs> and we have the skill to get the kills, so there's that. What I should be doing is maybe Bull Rush. I just thought of that. We should really be doing Bull Rush, maybe. You know, violent Violet. <laughs> Alright, let's grab that fuel can. Um, let's see, there are several. So what I like to do is just set them up in front of the nest and then shoot them. You just put them right in front of the nest. 
And of course, these fuel cans respawn. And hell, I think there's a third one around here somewhere. Yeah, there's one inside the shop yep. that we could use probably for this. Isn't there like one more around the back? Or is that the same one? Is this all the same room? I'm actually not sure if this is one nest or two. Let's find out. This is one of the reasons that I recommend coming here with the uh, SMP9. Is this, er this area can be challenging, man. It's not intended to be an easy bit. There are reasons why I save this for after I've unlocked the SMP9. Oh. Come on, guys. Why don't you come toward my well-planned choke point here? Yeah, there we go. That's better. I do love that moment when you can start pushing up on them. All right, now let's get the attention of some of the others. Would you just open the thing? Hell. Heard enough no, out of we're you. good. I wanted the car alarm. I guess I should have let that go off for a moment longer to draw some of these guys in, though. Oh, now here's the tutorial for maps and stuff. Hang on one second while I skip through this tutorial. Uh, and then I actually wanted to check the map. No, I actually wanted to check the map. Thank you. Okay, storylines. Yeah, let's view storylines. Now let me check the map. Thank you. Uh, so it doesn't show me, or I guess we've cleared them all. Was that all of them? Fuck, I don't even know, dude. Uh, without unfogging the map first, I don't even know. Was, that was all of them, wasn't it? Nah, there's the trailer in the other little shop up here. That's right. Let's go grab another fuel can. Y'all got me tripping. There's one more in here, isn't there? Oh, yeah, a little red fuel can. Wait. There's probably another one around here somewhere. Yeah, the trailer, and then I think the little shop beside it. Yeah, or the the actually the convenience store, or whatever. Aaron, welcome in, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, it might actually be a new game plus crossbow playthrough. I know. Yeah, that's right. Stay up there, and we'll get along just fine. Yeah, see, we've cleared crazy... We've cleared the nest here at Crazy Willy's, and we've used one Molotov. We used, uh, <clears throat> fuel cans for all the rest of it. Oh, I wish it had given me that. I didn't realize that I had an actual, uh, stealth kill prompt in front of me. with the boot knife when it works is actually nice it is completely free completely resource free kills it uses no resources whatsoever if you're coupling the boot knife with this ability. It can be a bit tricky to pull it off though sometimes it's just one of those things where like the timing has to be right on it sometimes you just will not trigger the uh, the bull rush ability Oh, you know what we should be doing? I actually forgot. Guys, how could y'all let me forget? I haven't been picking up any nest residue, and we intend to be using the crossbow. We should be picking up nest residue. I need to be picking up uh, cedar sapling bolts as well. There may be a few of those around here. Just run around bull rushing whole hordes of freakers, yeah, or just crowds of them, not hordes specifically, but crowds of them. Can you bull rush and mute? No, it won't do it. Or it didn't then. Catch! Got 
damn nuke. I did mention there's plenty of kerosene here, right? Oh, I missed that one. Maybe I'll just use another carrot. No, another Molotov. <laughs> that is kind of mean, I suppose. You sit still. Should have just used the axe. <laughs> Thought there was another rag around here somewhere. There it was. And one more. Okay, I think we're done with the exterior of the area. Now we'll move through the hotel rooms. Oh yeah, cedar trees. I, I've literally trained... Oh, here's our jump scare. Uh, I've literally trained myself to not look at the cedar sapling trees. Like, my eyes just kind of glide past them. I don't even look. So I will have to remind myself uh, to look out for those. There's one. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good reminder. I forget all the time. Like I don't even look at them. My eyes just slide right past them. Because it's one of those things. It's like, well, I know I don't need these because I don't run the crossbow. <laughs> It's just like the uh, the nest residue. I, I don't even look. Like, people have told me that there are locations where nest residue just spawns there. Like, there's no nest there, but you find nest residue there sometimes. I was like, wow, really? Huh. Yeah, I guess, I guess so, but... Huh. All right. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> Lob steady. Shit yourself. <laughs> the first time a newt popped out of the trunk like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great little jump scare. It's funny that they don't they don't overuse that. Like there's there's not that many of them in the game. Just maybe two or three of that type of, that specific type of jump scare of critter uh, some kind of freaker jumping out jumping out of like a hallway or a car or something. It's like you have that one that's in the tunnel, uh, in the tutorial bit, and then the. Uh, the two newts that jump out here sometimes. See there, I was trying to turn the flashlight on. I keep using uh, the last of us controls for the flashlight. <laughs> okay. So here is the code for the safe in the office. You pick it up from this drawer right here. Don't need that, but okay, whatever. And you come through here, this first door by the yellow lamp, and you can get into the safe, and there is a fully craft a fully crafted ready to use attractor inside there. I'm pretty sure that does not respawn, because it's again it's one of those things that you open something to get it, and anything that you open to get it, it's gone. And I'm not going to bother getting the ammo from these police vehicles. We just don't need it. What are we doing on scrap and stuff? I have 16 pieces of scrap. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. Okay, I think we're ready to push forward with the story bit here. We've done all the nest. Um, we've picked up nest residue. I should look for more cedar saplings. Ah, fuck it. We'll have time for that in a minute. I know there's some right outside O'Leary Mountain. Let's go ahead and wrap up this bit here. Here we go. 
And I'm going to top off my whiskey first. Lance has joined us. Lance, what's up, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, yeah, we can carry 20 scrap. Yeah, I think I've got 16 right now. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can pick up more scrap soon. Oh, yeah, D. Marlo. Yeah, there's several places where uh, nest residue spawns with no nest there. Uh, geez, I can't. I think there's one. No, I don't want to misquote myself, but I think there's one out there. There are nests in that area. Rimview Ranch, where the Rimview Ranch horde is, there's a nest up there, an infestation zone up there. We're talking about locations where nest residue spawns with no nest. So she says at the Palette Bridge Narrow Checkpoint, there's a one by the Lobert Draw Ridge Horde. Yeah, yeah, there's some nest residue there just in the middle of the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, that does respawn because that's resources that are just found out in the world. Um, yeah, yeah, you could add those to your map uh, if you have a chance. Uh, you know, if you get the opportunity... Uh, you could add stuff like that to the map because there are several locations where you can always pick up nest residue uh, and there's no nest there. Boozer, you there? I found the part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the question is the folks who locked the child newts in the trunk. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of sad, really. Kind of messed up. Rippers. Boozer. Boozer, man. There's a fishing spot down south where that spawns. Okay. Man, I'm coming. Yeah, y'all. Uh, should y'all get together on the Discord Shit. and uh, Rippers. if we can't come up with a list of them, because I know there are several spots, but I do not know them because I, I I don't use nest residue. Biker man, you must be brought low, biker man, for you are lost and we are found. <laughs> These tats are dead symbols of a dead man! Dead symbols of the lost! Get off me! The bitches! Oh, Nylon Girl, you got you got your pool evening going on. Right on! Go have some fun. Go make us some money. We will show you. You are not one of the found! Fucking rippers. You are the lost! The path. You are Fuck yeah, it's personal. These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the law. Over here! You sons of bitches, get off him! Get him! Get him! I do love having a lot of focus for this opening bit. <laughs> that is nice. Aaron, you should get some sleep, huh? Good lord, man. 3.15 in the morning. Brandano, 069, welcome. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think we should slow down and do some of that. For sure. Oh, Violent Jones, you like them sweet headshots, huh? I don't know, that sounds kind of violent. Don't look, don't look at it, Boozer. I'm trying to tell you, man. Don't look at it. Stop thinking about it. Don't look at it. Just start walking. Get moving. Don't look at it. Go, go! Fuck yeah, it's personal. Jesse goddamn Williamson. Nomad, 416. Mmm, barbecue. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, you still collect them on what? Your 13th, 14th playthrough? Yeah. I stopped a long time ago. I don't, I just don't really chase down the collectibles and story bits, but that's not really a thing for me in gaming anyway. Unless it actually unlocks in game benefits, I don't. sure it's all clear. I don't usually do it more than once or twice. Alright, pretty much like we left it. What? This is your shit, which one, brother? The two hearts. <laughs> oh, I, I think I found it. Um, Reintroduce myself. No, no, dude, we're probably not getting a day's gone, too. Yeah. 
Oh, you know, I mean, it's my honest answer. No, I really doubt it. Be okay. And even if, even yeah. if Sony ever green lights a Days Gone 2, it will not be any kind of Days Gone 2 as we would be hoping for. No, 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 That's... no. I'm going to be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. No. I mean, it's a franchise that Sony may choose to revive in the future with a sequel, but thanks. it won't be... Don't take my I mean, it, it might be a good game. It might be fun. It might be worth playing. Uh, right here. It won't be what we're looking for All right. in a sequel. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Lobsteady, you out, man? All right. Kind of Thank you for being here. Good All evening. Right. Yeah, I think really the best we could hope for that, like, we know that they were at least throwing around ideas of a movie and approaching actors about a movie. We do know that. That's been announced. But no one knows where that's really going or how far it's going to go or if it's going to be any good. Um, I think our best bet for more good Days Gone content would be a television show written by an author who's passionate about the project. That's, I mean, that's, you know, written by a screenwriter who's passionate about it. I think that would be our best hope for a good continuation of the Days Gone experience. Uh, it's open. We, we can open it more, yeah. A bit toasty. There you go, babe. Warhorse 500. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, you're afraid it would be like The Last of Us 2. Yeah. And that's kind of my point. You know, we know that very little of the original team is even still at Bend. And I mean even at, like, the directorial level. You have, like, the the guy who wrote the script, the guy who created the world and wrote the people and the lines, well, he's not there anymore. So that original creative vision for this game is not there anymore. And then you also have uh, the game's director, Jeff Ross. He's no longer there. And it was Jeff Ross and John Garvin, or the guys who, like, came up with the Sons of Anarchy, Walking Dead vibe, uh, and created all of that. And then you have Eric Jensen, uh, the lead open world designer for Days Gone. You know, this guy was out in the field examining lichen and moss and shit so they could put realistic looking lichen and moss on the rocks in the fucking games uh, in this game. So it's like you have those three main guys there and then a lot of the other team there. They're just not there anymore. Now, of course, some of the same people that worked at Bend at that time are still working at Bend now. And I'm sure those people would be very passionate and would be honored to do a Days Gone 2. So I, I think that would be a good bet as long as like as long as it's still handled in-house by Sony Bend. You know, it, that would increase our chances of getting a decent sequel that is like what we what the fans would hope for in a sequel. What we're likely to get with all video games, if there is a sequel, it's going to be whatever the studio churns out to make some money off of the franchise. It's that's kind of the business model. It's they're not necessarily trying to churn out good content when they're making sequels. But yeah, yeah, a television show would be great. All right, so we can actually do it up now, man. This is a playthrough where I have everything unlocked. Uh, we literally have all of the options, but you know what I'm running. <laughs> we may change that. Oh my God. Uh, 1500, uh, 15 or 1152 credits to fucking fill the auto shotgun. My goodness. Okay. And you know, we're going to be running the, uh, SMP nine. This is the level four mil spec condition SMP nine. Uh, nope. Well, I mean, 180 credits. That's not bad. But what we are going to do a little bit different, we're going to go ahead and equip the Drifter crossbow. This is your upgraded crossbow. I uh, think you have to be at least into, like, Iron Mike's camp before you can get this. Oh, shit. Uh, short round. Hey, buddy. My goal next playthrough is to get platinum and eight months as a member. Shit, yeah, man. Thank you. Uh, that reminds me we need to do a uh, membership giveaway. Uh, YouTube does pr provide the option to give out uh, several gifted memberships each month. We need to do that here in a minute. So go ahead, folks. Make sure that you are opted in to receive gifted memberships uh, and uh, just be be ready and tuned in here in a second. We'll be giving out some new member some memberships. 
Yeah, Anton, they don't think about the players, man. It's about the profit. I mean, it's it's the business model. We know it is what it is. Okay, let's see. Since we have the crossbow on our back, let's see if we get some uh, some bolts for it. We did. We got five standard bolts. That's nice. Okay, and we got a little bit of ammo. Uh, we won't have anything on the saddlebag. So let's see. If you look at the inventory screen, it will show you how many credits you have at each camp. And Copeland's camp is the little radio tower there in the bottom left corner uh, with 39,000 credits there. Uh, so, I mean, we, we have enough credits to go ahead and top off these weapons. It's really not a problem. And we're starting off fresh uh, on a new game plus, so we're going to be getting more credits and stuff as well. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted to fill up the SMP9 also. Now, I was going to say, since we were running the... Uh, crossbow, we should probably change up our primary and our sidearms. I'm thinking something like what the, um, we should probably go with the IDF pup and maybe the little stubby, maybe? I think that'd be a pretty good combo. Oh, shit, Doug. Doug A has gifted 10 Spawnicus Rex memberships. Oh, man, you got to show me up right before I do my giveaway. All right, all right, let's do this. All right, folks, we're about to give away some memberships, and I actually don't know how to do that. <laughs> I've only done it once. How do we give away memberships, babe? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, right here. We, we're we going to click right here. Gifting, and we're going to click right here. You have this many. And guess what, folks? We're about to give away five more Sponicus Rex memberships. Boop. Gifting five now. Boom, your gift has been announced in live chat. Right on, Doug. Thank you. Not only was that a good reminder to do the giveaway I was planning to do, uh, but that also benefits the channel. It benefits the community. And those 10 folks right there are now members for a month, and the five folks from mine are members for the next month. You know, pretty much the month of March you guys are in. That makes you eligible for the members-only co-op gaming sessions that we do every other Saturday, which we have one coming up this Saturday. Uh, that tomorrow actually yeah we have one coming up tomorrow evening we'll be playing wreck fest uh you guys are welcome to join us uh if you want to join us for a live co-op session uh please email spawnicus rex co-op at gmail.com it should read all one word all lowercase spawnicus rex coop at gmail.com and if you uh email there let us know you're interested you want to play um you know, play Wreckfest with us tomorrow night. Please include your PlayStation username so that I can shoot you a friend request more easily. All right, so we have our Drifter crossbow. We have our uh, the level four little stubby, which you can only get late game. And we have the IDF pup, which you can only get uh, for killing a certain number of hordes. Jeez, I don't even remember what it is right now. We can check. Let's check in the storylines under the progress tab. And, well, we don't have the Horde Killer storyline opened up yet, so we can't look at it yet. Never mind. Anyway, somebody in the chat knows what the exact number is. I know y'all know it. And it's funny, I used the chest to uh, grab ammo and stuff and then switched out my weapons. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. Ooh, you're gonna watch Dune uh, with the wifey tomorrow. Cool, cool. Two cedar trees by the gate, yeah. And a couple down the way down to the... Uh, to the Marauder camp. Yeah, there's one over here. And then, shit, I think there might even be three out here. There's the one there, and then, like, two over here on this side or something. Oh, yeah, hey, buddy, I see you there with the flashlight. Fuck off. Awake. I'm busy picking flowers and stuff. What's up? I just <laughs> Cutting down trees, man. Fuck off. Yeah, there's those two there. Uh, which means we can craft bolts. No, idea. Uh, no we can't craft oh, bolts right see now. If there's some more where he came right. from. Deacon out. Now, can we, now we can craft bolts. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and max out the standard bolts. Hell, I think I can... No, I can't make any explosive bolts just yet. Yeah, we can. I should have picked up all the gear from inside the camp here. Uh, for new players, um, you spend a lot of time at O'Leary Mountain Safe House here. Not only is there a wor working fuel pump and infinite supply of fuel, just pull your bike up right here and you can refuel your bike. There's also a shitload of scrap and crafting materials as well. And being New Game Plus, where we have all of the recipes unlocked, you can see there's actually quite a bit of stuff here, including car alarms 
and gunpowder and stuff. And that's that's kind of uncommon scrap, or at least high value crafting materials, I would say. And you can get all of that stuff right here. More kerosene, that kind of stuff. Okay. So now we should be able to craft some explosive bolts. Oh, that's too much fun. All right, that's kind of cool, having explosive bolts right here in the early game. Deacon, why were your magazines not full, sir? Why were your magazines not full, sir? That's one thing that frustrates me a little bit. I wish that uh, when you top off the ammo at these type locations, it would also automatically fill the magazine as well. The only way I know of to do that automatically is with the um, saddlebags. Oh, shit. Selby Miser, welcome in, brother. Welcome in. Check it out. That's 20 gifted memberships tonight. God damn, guys. Wow. Uh, that's incredible. That is incredible. Uh, thank you. Thanks, man. Good to see you. I can't. Where? I'll donate some memberships there. <laughs> so actually guys that really does help me out doug and uh rishi thank you seriously uh that really helps me out right now specifically because we're getting ready for days gone calm uh and of course there's you know we had to book the hotel uh we booked a suite up there in denver um to have the get together at <clears throat> and you know we'll have some expensive well, i'll probably get us a nice bottle of whiskey uh, so, I mean, these these contributions that are coming in this month, because the way the the way the Google payouts, the YouTube payouts, I, I don't mind sharing this the way it works. is They generally pay on the 21st of the month, the month after. So like any revenue that we generate for the channel in right now, the month of March, all of the revenue that we generate during March will I'll get a payout on that April 21st. So I'll get it right before Days Gone Com starts. And that will allow me to get like well, pretty much whatever we need for, like, we want to order pizza for you guys or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so the expenses that we're going to incur with Days Gone Calm, the contributions that we get right now this month will be helping with that. So thank you, seriously. Like, now is the right time. Thanks. Okay, I'm still looking for cedar saplings because I do want to max out my crossbow bolts. Can we go here on the first? Is this leaving the mission zone or can we go over here? How far can we go this way? I'm curious now. Hm. Crazy. Yeah, now it's leaving mission zone. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Uh, now, off the opposite direction here, <clears throat> as you come down the hill from O'Leary Mountain, there's actually a place where you can pick up a machete really early. And I didn't know this until... Was this one Old Lady Deep Geek or was it Dandy Denny 07 who shared this specific tip? I know the tip that uh, machetes can be found in the forest service vehicles. Yeah, that tip comes from Dandy Denny. Yeah, right over here is one. But I think the fact that, hey, there's one right here outside O'Leary Mountain, that may have been Old Lady Deep Geek. Because if you look just right here, uh, right as you come down the hill from O'Leary Mountain Safe House, there's one of these green Forest Service trucks. These trucks will quite often have a machete in the back of them. Right there. Now, I have the uh, the crafted um, saw blade axe, which I kind of dig that one myself. I like the baseball bat axe. I, I think it's fun. I like the aesthetics of it. I like, the, I like using the axes because I like the thump and the swing to it. Uh, so I'm going to stick with that for now. But if you're into the machete, and I do recommend trying the machete, uh, I hear good things about it. There's one right there as you come down the hill. Oh, Violent Jones, yeah. Yeah, we had an absolute blast at the first Days Gone Comp last year. Uh, I mean, God, it was great. We It was a small thing. It was our first one. So, you know, yeah, we didn't have that many people show up. Not many people realized we were serious. <laughs> so, uh it was kind of a small turnout, but we had a hell of a time. And uh, this year, we've already got, geez, what, three times as many people on the roster, I think. So, what's that? Yeah, yeah something like that. 
Uh, so we're going to, I know we're going to have a good turnout this year. And uh, we're just a bunch of fucking video game nerds hanging out, having a good time. It, it is what it is. It, it'd be kind of hard to not have a good time. I mean, shit, we're in Denver, Colorado, one of the coolest cities in the world. Um, really cool place. Beautiful scenery. Like, you can drive a half hour uh, from Denver and be in, like, hiking. Like, beautiful mountain hiking areas. Okay, so we're here, and we have a crossbow. Never done that before. <laughs> you bringing gummies? No, I'm not bringing gummies, but it is Colorado. G gummies are easily acquired. Easily acquired. Uh, in the city of Denver, you don't even have to have a medical license for cannabis. You can just purchase it recreationally if you're above 21 and have a valid state identification. Jay Stabby donating to the cause. Yeah. Yeah, shit, yeah. That's that's pizza money right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, the Sponicus Rex channel does not promote the illegal use of cannabis. <laughs> Please follow your local usage laws and regulations. Yeah. Also, these guys are just going to stand down here. They're not going to split up because we haven't gone down there. I was hoping they would break off and I could get some headshots or something. But all right, we'll have to approach before they'll break off. You find. It's just like I said, those I was thinking about using an explosive bolt to take out the two of them. The road. Yeah? No uh, shit. actually, I'm good on whiskey for now. Could you perhaps get me some apple juice? I'm just thirsty. I'd like something to sip on. Yeah. Thank you. Pretty sweet. I say when it gets dark, we go in, kill the sons of bitches, and then make ourselves at home. Uh, War Horse 500. No, let me actually be very clear uh, with everybody. I'm not, like, I'm absolutely not advocating for cannabis use uh and 100 percent, i don't want it to turn into a smoke fest we'll get kicked out of the hotel like it it can't turn into a smoke fest man we'll get kicked out of the hotel uh however for individuals who are interested do be aware that recreational cannabis is legal here in colorado uh, if you're over the age of 21 and your job doesn't do piss test well you can go to any dispensary anywhere in the city and buy some gummies and enjoy some gummies and then not have that smell on you, uh, not be carrying it on you. Um, you can just buy some little edibles, man, and they're easy and fun. Easily acquired and fun. Okay, why can't we do anything? Is... Serious. Okay. Is some, am I tripping out here? Why am I not able to throw a rock in this bit? Is, is my new game plus bugging out? Freaks. Like, seriously, somebody help me out here. I haven't done new game plus in forever. Freaks. We should be able to throw a rock right now, right? Fire. What the fuck? The Who Fan won. Hello, nurse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know I, for a long time, I worked a job that um, did frequent random urinalysis and it just wasn't feasible to use cannabis at that time uh but you know <clears throat> moving up here mostly doing the youtube channel as much as i can and then also uh working a day job in the cannabis industry well i am able to use cannabis but guys i'll be honest with you i i barely smoke anymore you know just a little bit every now and then just for fun uh when i have the time okay this is seriously fucked right this is new game plus and i i can't use any of i can't use anything right now what is it am i god am i missing something as far as like oh you're supposed to do this thing first before you can engage it's it's being fucky babe check this out i can't am i being dumb i can't throw anything or do anything no i think we've already done that Oh, yeah, like the Nero mission stuff is supposed to be locked out, but you should be able to select a rock. And I can't even throw a rock, is what I'm saying. I was going to say the other stuff. 
might make sense. Right, yeah. I don't play any games at all. So. Same here. Everything is locked. I don't know why. Yeah, even my weapons. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is locked. <laughs> I have not been using rest mode, I swear. I have not tried turning it off and on, though we actually will be trying. What can I do? Let me just fucking move in here and... Can I engage them at all? Okay, I can do that. What else can we do? That's two kills. Uh, maybe the freaks killed one of them. Freaks. Well, we can use Bull Rush. And now I have access to my stuff. That's fucking weird. Was it just... Was it, Yeah, boot knife only playthrough. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, was it just maybe uh, we needed to start the encounter? Maybe? I don't know, man. That's trippy. Look, <laughs> did y'all see that shit? What I was doing just then, I was checking to see if my SMP9 had a suppressor ready. And then I checked to see if the IDF pup had a suppressor ready. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I've got a crossbow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a crossbow. <laughs> the fucking crossbow, man. I swear. Oh, that was me. That I'm not going to blame that on the crossbow. That was me. I just missed. There we go. Now this could be a tricky shot. Here you are. Yes, yes, here I am. Let's change our angle of attack here. It really did trip me up. Uh, Cause like I was gonna try stealth with the crossbow. That was my plan. That really was my plan to start. Was I wanted to do stealth with the crossbow here. But it wouldn't even let me throw a rock, man. I don't know what was going on. Okay, here we go. That's it. MacDougall is with us. Welcome in, MacDougall. Hi. And Ian L. Hi, Ian. What's going on, guys? Okay, we got a kill, but it wasn't a headshot. Game just bugged. Okay. Well, that's... Yeah, all right. Oh, man, did you make popcorn? Oh, my goodness, she made popcorn. No. Actually, you brought me apple juice. That's what I needed. I am a bit parched. All right, now we don't have a mini map. So, yeah, I didn't know where this guy was because I had no motion tracker. And we. I want to get the hang of headshots here. All right, I see. That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Not that much. Stay the hell off, O'Leary Mountain. Might as well. Boozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm going to be heading to my bike, deacon out. Oh, cedar sapling over here. I'm going to have to get used to looking for those. We can make some residue bolts. Yeah, make some explosive bolts for sure. And hey, we might as well do some uh, incendiary bolts as well. Those are handy. What about poison? Okay, we can't do any poison bolts yet because we don't have any poison. All right, but we're maxed out on everything else. That's cool. And let's make sure we have the correct bolts selected. Okay. Yeah, somebody deal with well here I've got it. <laughs> Bye. Whatever the hell that was. Ah, oh, we can craft some stuff too to uh fill us up on Nope, need that. We can do this. 
that many of them and one of these two. Steve Elliman, welcome in, bud. How you doing? Tell you what, we got a few more folks in. Uh, here in a minute, let's do another membership giveaway, shall we? Uh, I have five more memberships I can do this month. Uh, so we've got a nice crowd in, uh, 54 folks right now. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good time to do that. Y'all ready? Uh, anyone who's not currently a member, uh, but you want to be, make sure you are opted in to receive gifted memberships. And we'll throw out a few more memberships here in a second. That is something you have to select uh, for each YouTube channel that you want to opt in. Uh, you have to do each one individually. Unfortunately, YouTube does not provide a blanket statement of, yes, I'm down with receiving free fucking memberships. Crossbow sucks. <laughs> I'll give it a chance. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, I am honestly trying to look at some of my, my favorite franchises with new eyes. Like, we're doing The Last of Us Part Two Remastered on Wednesday, on Monday and Wednesdays. Been doing that for a little while now, and I've really, really had a much better experience with it this time just from looking at it with a different perspective, you know? Hey. Mm. D. Marlowe wants to know how to opt in to receive gifted memberships. Uh, yeah, would you talk us through that real quick? Yeah, uh, I'll say you repeat it. All right. Um, hit the join button. Okay, so you would hit the join button. Uh, which is just underneath the, if you go to like where we're not full screen, uh, just directly under the, under the title, you'll see the join button. So click on that. If you're on mobile app, it may not show up. You can guess where. On mobile, you may have to like back out and go back in or kind of faff around PC. with it a bit. PC, it's right there. If you're on PC, it's right there. It's under the title. Uh, hit the join button. Yep. Three dots in the top corner. And then there's three dots. Just hit your three dots in the top corner and that should bring up your options. Settings. Settings. And there's one of the options. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, actually, I'll give you a sec to find that uh, and anyone else who's actively looking for it right now. Uh, and then we'll do those. I've got it set up right now. We're ready to throw it out there. Oh, yeah, that's interesting, Jay Sabby. Since you had set out to use horde-only weapons, you knew you weren't going to be using a sniper rifle. Uh, and that's why you decided to make more use of the crossbow. Yeah, yeah, agreed. So, like, I think that's fair. We Well, I'm not necessarily going to do horde weapons because i kind of like having the little stubby i like having a shotgun handy um but uh i guess we could do maybe auto shot no no i i want to have the idf up in my primary slot uh simply because of the uh the extreme accuracy of it it's damn near as good as a sniper rifle itself and it is a spray and pray option as well Gotta get to my bike. Getting closer. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, MacDougall is now opted in. Okay. So I guess we've uh, given folks uh, an opportunity to get that set up if they're interested. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do those five more gifted memberships right now. Okay. And... And gift five. There we go. All right, folks. So we got five new channel members. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, that gives you access to custom emojis designed by 8-Bit Terror herself. That gives you access to, uh, you'll get at least one highlighted member chat uh, where your name can uh, show up all neat and cool in the chat there. Uh, and also that makes you eligible for the members only co-op gaming sessions that we do every other Saturday, like tomorrow night. Yeah, guys, congratulations. Damn it, Copeland. Yeah, and there's some of them custom emojis hey, right there, man. You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God okay. damn it! I didn't take your bike, man! <laughs> I wasn't really trying I'm to. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! Hey! I bike! So here is another opportunity to pick up the uh, early game machete. Because you run right past one of these uh, forest service trucks right there. Oh, I think that had a 
Copeland's men no, got to it. Must, okay, right it was this pickup icon. Camp. This pickup icon that I saw, I thought I was maybe seeing a uh, airbag for the remote bomb. I hate that you can't shoot that guy. I mean, can't we at least wing him? Put a bolt through his leg, maybe? <laughs> hey, we still have stamina. Yay! Bull rush is a lot of fun. I love that skill. <laughs> Salvage, Deke. Salvage. Yeah. That's what they all say. Now, allegedly, there is some kind of way to get this gunner up here killed so that they drop an MG45 for you. Which, we can get an MG45 anyway. We're on New Game Plus, but... Man, I haven't been able to find any way to duplicate it. I hear that it can be done, but I haven't hey, found any way to duplicate it. Some son of a bitch stole my bike! Don't know nothing about that. Oh, a different drifter bike decal. <laughs> Calm down, man. Calm down. I'm already changing to the crossbow. <laughs> You're trying to break my brain, dude. <laughs> I, I don't know. No, and mostly just because that is iconic in the sense of like, People see my videos or see even like photo mode stuff and they're like, oh, that's Rex. Uh, so I think it, it's more of a iconic to me personally uh, or to Sponicus Rex uh, to have that. It's brand. Yeah, it's branding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. To, to which, uh, yeah, to which Boozer or Deacon replies, we were never a brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You know, Jay Stabby, you went melee first on this yeah, one, I just so you can get more rush early. Yeah. yeah or use it more life. often, yeah. I read a book once. Zen in the art. <laughs> yeah, short rounds got it. Yeah, don't push him too oh, much, man. He's already using a crossbow. In the day. Yeah. I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires I'll show you in a sec, Doug. peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh. Oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It just came off the truck. <laughs> Baby else, steps. Bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. <laughs> the road hard, too. The fool the road, it didn't know shit about bikes. They didn't know shit <laughs> about bikes. Right. Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. And it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was. <laughs> meant was. The fools that brought that bike in, see, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and let's talk. That's interesting, Jay Savvy. I guess having a different approach to the game, like you don't need carry that weight as much. I think for me, that's, that's something I just gotta have early game. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Nose down, they feed you. Okay, uh, Doug, I was gonna show you. It shows in the skill tree. Uh, no, that's a melee skill, sorry. If you go into the skill tree and you have a look at Bull Rush, you do the view tutorial, it will show you that your sprint attacks are enabled now while sprinting. Uh, with left three, L3, uh, you press that sprint, and then you will press R2 as you approach the enemy, which is just your basic melee attack, R2, that's the right trigger. Um, so you basically, while you're running, you do a melee attack, and he'll do that shoulder slam. And then once he does the shoulder slam and knocks him down, you the icon is X to uh, complete the kill. Take care of their own. And the trick to it is if you have the boot knife actively selected as your active weapon, then he'll default to doing the kill with the boot knife, which uses zero resources. Like everything else. If you use your standard melee weapon, he'll do a really brutal kill with it, but it uses durability from your melee weapon. Uh, which requires scrap to repair or pick up another one somewhere. 
But if you're using the boot knife, then it doesn't, you know, of course it doesn't affect uh, your ability at all. Used to go hunting out here with the old man. More stuff, always good. Yo. Oh, Violent Jones, you don't know the backstory on cars, on uh, Copeland's scars? Uh, look in, I, I highly recommend that you guys take a look in the description of this video. In the description of this video, you'll see a link to the Days Gone art book. The, the Days Gone art book. Ah, <laughs> bonk. Uh, like, no, really, I'm going to smack you in the fucking head with the book. <laughs> uh, go buy one. Uh, now, I will tell you that is an affiliated link. Yes, I get a kickback off of that. Uh, so I'm not just trying to sell you an art book. But the Days Gone art book is fucking amazing. And it gives backstory on Copeland's scars. It tells how he got them. Uh, and if you're a member of the Days Gone subreddit, there are several relevant posts just recently. Uh, one was about cut content. There was a cut content scene where um, D Copeland would give Deacon a contract to avenge the one that gave him those scars. Uh, so that's uh, kind of interesting stuff, I thought. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah. He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Gary Cox. Welcome in, Gary. <laughs> Just switched off Days Gone. <laughs> and here we are, yeah? Yeah, welcome in, man. Good to have you. Tell you what. You find his yeah, stash. Yeah, if you check the description of the video... Uh, I have a link to the Days Gone art book. I highly, I mean, you, if you don't buy it through my affiliated link, fine. Uh, if you find it cheaper somewhere else, like eBay or something, excellent. Just, I recommend fans of the game should get a copy of the art book. Definitely. Salvage. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cole, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Okay, so we're almost to the part where we could actually start playing the game. Once you get your bike, uh, and this is mostly intended for the new players who haven't, who maybe haven't been around much. Uh, once you get your bike from Copeland's camp here, at that point, you, you have the ability to start free roam. Uh, you can kind of go where you want, do what you want, you know, within reason, within the early confines of the game. Deep, deep. Hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time Yeah, we, if Deacon wanted bike. this camp, he easily could have taken it bike, by guile or I by know. force. No worries. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? <laughs> a marine with the it's face not, that looks like he ran into a ranger. <laughs> for, for more parts, I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deacon. Yeah, this bit here. Just get the fuck out of my way. I think some of this um, might be some of the scenes that were not uh, motion captured by uh, Sam Whitwer. Because he did mention, God, I don't believe, I don't remember where. I think it might have been in just one of his own live streams, because he live streams on Twitch. So it may have been one of Sam Whitworth's live streams on Twitch or just one of the other interviews I've seen with him uh, where he's done some live streams with Bend as well that might have been in there where he mentioned that he did not do all of the motion capture on Deacon. Uh, and the, there's certain bits where you can tell that's not Sam. Um, and I think that might be one of them. <laughs> we don't claim Copeland. <laughs> I mean, he is a badass, though. The man took one to... He, he took a claw to the face from fucking Rager Bear and, and survived. That man's a badass. 
All right, while we're here, we do have level three at this camp, so we have access to everything he sells. We can top off our saddlebags and get suppressors that we don't already have. That means primary in this case. We can buy a special suppressor, though we don't really need it. Pull up on those, and you can only sell one of these. Uh, all right, and let's do take a look at the bike, make sure that we just have everything lined out. Yes, I know about camp mechanics. How's it going? We don't need fuel or repairs or anything and i do want to go with the iconic all right check back later man. is that shit See? i do want to go with the iconic hey, spawnicus rex look hey manny there we go yeah it's funny I have people ask me all the time, dude, where did you get that World War II shark mouth decals? I, I've never not had it. It's literally the first one you get at the first bike mechanic. I, I've never not had it. I've ran with this decal since the first hours of my first playthrough. I just, that's just me, man. That's, that's the stuff right okay, there. Man. That's my bike. Hey, drop by next time. Might have <laughs> That's fucking classic, man. I can't help it. All right, so let's head to the O'Leary Mountain Safe House. There's a reason I like, well, several reasons, but I like to go here first. Once you get the bike, that is when you have the option to start your free roam. You can go basically where you want, do basically what you want within the confines of the early game. And I like to head up to O'Leary Mountain, rest and make it first light, pick up any supplies that I haven't picked up yet, and uh, also uh, make a hard save there so that you've kind of got a, a point to uh, start off from. So the Cascades is going to be fun with no mini-map. You're going to see me getting lost a lot. No, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you press. Fuck you, wolves. Be there as soon as I can. Uh, we don't need the meat and bounties on this playthrough because uh, we have max trust everywhere. We have lots of credits everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess I'll turn. see what I can find, I guess. All right, so what I was saying uh, earlier about why you should come back to O'Leary Mountain Safe House regularly, and again, this is mostly for the new guys, for the new folks. Uh, you can pull up right to this fuel pump here and fuel up right there at the pump whenever you need to. God damn right it's personal. God damn right it's personal, he says. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. All right. Now, maybe they're like me. has stuff respawned? It's not likely. No, nothing has respawned yet. Get up them stairs, boy. And I may change my mind. I, I, I kind of run. I kind of want to run the rock chuck on this playthrough, just because I enjoy that weapon and I don't get to use it very often. But it's kind of redundant with the crossbow, I suppose. A uh, bit of both, Lance. bit of both. Oh, Darian Star, you heading out? Okay. Well, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's go. Do get some rest. I'm going to use the one with the baby in the tank. I can't stand the noises that they make, man. Uh, both of the Death Stranding tanks, they make these weird noises. I just, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Uh, Claire was playing uh, Death Stranding a while back, and like I couldn't hardly listen to it because. And, and I guess if you're playing the game and you have the context for what those audio cues are, that's one thing. But I just it's just bugging the shit out of me. It's just weird ambient noises. Okay, so I like to go ahead and make a hard save uh, at the bike. See, this is from our last playthrough that we wrapped up last week. So we'll go ahead and save that there. And we're ready to take off, man. We can literally go do anything.
We can go kill some early game hordes, whatever. Uh, we might as well just kind of run through the story. This is New Game Plus. I don't need bounties. I don't need meat. I really don't even need the trust and credits from these missions. But let's run through these missions and um, do them a little differently than I normally do them in the early game. Crossbow can't lick the rock chuck's boots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Doug, you don't know the rock chuck. Okay, we'll go ahead and show that briefly. The rock chuck is a integrally suppressed full auto rifle. Uh, it is copied after the real world honey badger, I believe it's called, with a, a built-in uh, suppressor. Um, in this game, it has an infinite suppressor. It never runs out. Uh, but it can only be unlocked extremely late game by um, clearing all of the marauder camps, not ambush camps. That's different. Marauder camps. The marauder camps you only get from camp jobs. That's your orange map marker camp jobs. I sometimes may store main story missions because it's weird like that. Uh, but it's only from the marauder camp hunter storyline. And we'll go ahead and yeah, fuck it. Let's fill up the ammo on it. Why not? And let's uh, fill up the magazine so that we can actually fill up the ammo on it. Okay. One second, I'll actually show you the weapon. That's a cool little gun. It's extremely accurate, really high rate of fire, uh, always suppressed, but kind of low damage. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Let's go ahead and deploy it, and we'll show it with some light on it. Yeah. Hang on, let me open up the aperture all the way so you can see it more clearly. There it is. Yeah, the honey badger. And you can see the suppressor built into the, the barrel of it there, or built around it. Uh, but it's it's a really cool little gun, but it's kind of redundant with the crossbow. Um, do we even need a suppressed rifle with the crossbow? Yeah, you can only get it late game. It's nice to have in a new game plus playthrough. Oh, Gary, you've never used it. It's sweet, man. We'll run with it for a minute uh, since we got some folks with us who are not familiar with it. And I'll, I can show you, you have the, uh, what is it? The ambush camp hunter. And it's, okay, now this is weird. This is a, a weird consistency and wording thing. And this is why I was confused. On my first playthrough, I cleared all of the ambush camps and thought I would get the rock chuck. It doesn't work that way. Uh, because it says here, clear the Marauder Ambush Camp. It uses both the word Marauder and Ambush for these camps. And there's another bit where it tells you to look for the smoke from a Marauder Camp. You actually only see smoke from Ambush Camps. Ambush Camps and Marauder Camps are different. They're uh, different storylines. Ambush Camps you can find out in the world while you're exploring just by finding the black smoke on the horizon. Marauder camps only come from camp quest givers. So yeah, the marauder camps are the only way to unlock the rock truck. And that happens way late game. In fact, I rarely ever unlock it before uh, dealing with the militia. Shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Cope out. Do what you can, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, the rock chuck is only weak if you miss. <laughs> yeah. It is a good weapon. I do enjoy it. In fact, I'll tell you, I like the rock chuck for one of the same reasons that I like the auto shotgun. If you are doing a new game plus, you don't get your magazines. Your increased magazines do not carry over. Uh, so any magazines you've upgraded, those upgrades don't carry over to new game plus. So I would often run weapons that always have the same magazine size, like the auto shotgun with its 16 round drum magazine or the rock chuck with its always 35 round magazine. I would often run this on new game plus playthroughs just because 
of the fact that you always get the, the full magazine with it. Shit for boozers, arm. Here's the rock chuck in action. Extremely accurate. You can see how small the targeting reticle is. Now, of course, it makes a difference if you stand up, it expands. So if you're crouched and then you're in focus, you can see how tight that targeting reticle is. Uh, very, very accurate. Decent range on it as well. It was like another thing I like about it is you can use it to disable these speakers quietly because you are actually using a suppressed firearm. And it's only those two at this location, right? Got Enosh! Don't believe the lies. That was two shots, actually, and you can see the reticle barely moved between the two shots. Any more? Yeah, see, so that, that allowed us to clear this area. Well, there is one more over here, and we're almost done, but... Easy headshots uh, every time with this gun. Very, very effective weapon. It is nice having it in the early game on a New Game Plus playthrough. Oh, yeah, Jay Stabby, are you talking about the, uh, the magazines not carrying over? Because most of your upgrades do carry over. And I, I found it to be a bit inconsistent. I, I haven't really tested it because I haven't done very many new game plus playthroughs. Uh, but it seems like I've had a couple of playthroughs where I did have all of my magazines, uh, magazine upgrades unlocked. Uh, but I don't think that's the norm. I think that was an exception. I'm going to change my name to Booze Man. Uh, well, my, my whiskey glass is currently empty, but that's because I drank generator. it all. <laughs> generator here somewhere. Okay, can we craft? We can't craft any other bolts or anything right now, can we? No, I don't really need to craft anything. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, we can do a little bit of crafting. Molotovs, at least. Couldn't I make it? Yeah, I could make a friggin' napalm molotov. That's cool. Okay. Uh, I think there's a few other things to pick up here. Since we do have all... See, let me start at the beginning here. I often forget where some of the late game crafting materials are. Uh, simply because when you're coming through here on a new game, you don't have those crafting recipes. You can't pick them up anyway. But I think there's like another piece of gunpowder around here somewhere. That's it. Come on, you son of a bitch. You better start. Yeah, the uh, the rock chuck is great for clearing ambush camps. It it is a lot of fun clearing the ambush camps, especially if you like enjoy the ranged combat in Days Gone, the the actual firearms. Because uh, of course you could run through the ambush camps with the crossbow and be silent, suppressed the whole time. But uh, being able to run through there with an automatic rifle that's fully suppressed all the time, that's nice. That's something you don't get any other way. Uh, let me show you all this just again, just for new players, folks that are looking for early game tips right here at this Nero facility. You have to come here for the early game mission to get the bandages for Boozer around the back side of it uh, is a fire axe here. The fire axe is actually my preferred weapon for the early game simply because it has superior damage. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much always going to go with the maximum damage. I know it has very low durability, but you can repair it easily with scrap, or you can just pick up another one. Uh, and I don't use a lot of melee, so I really don't benefit much from high durability on my melee weapons. 
Sterile bandages. Sterile uh, so normally bandages, I would be running that fire axe, and I recommend it for new players as well. Uh, but it's kind of an aesthetics thing, and we have all of the melee skills unlocked already. I'm just going to run with the baseball bat axe. I love this thing. Go ahead and pick up the Ipkatech. For those of you who do not know, there's one of those at every single Nero location. All of the... Certainly the Nero MMUs, are they? They're also at the Nero research sites as well, aren't they? And those are what you need to unlock the Nero taser weapon thing, which I never use. I actually kind of just hate that it messes up the weapon wheel and put stuff in the wrong spots. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll grab a bit of ammo while we're in here. <laughs> Nine rounds for the assault rifle. Okay, there's our objective. Okay. And, of course, everything's maxed out, so we don't actually need the Nero injector here either. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How low? Reloaded. Dying Light 2. I'm not familiar with that. What did they have they remastered Dying Light 2 already? <laughs> it just released. Nero tank. Uh, some sort of a injector of some kind. Ugh. You know, Doug, I don't remember if I used a lot of melee in the early game when I first started playing. Was generally speaking, I don't use melee uh in games. I, I rarely ever default to melee attacks. I pretty much always use firearms or even like in, like I'll play like a an archer or something, a ranged character in other type games that don't have firearms. See, so yeah, I rarely ever default to melee attacks. Uh, in fact, I've said, um, I generally say if, if you have allowed the enemy to get close enough that you need a melee weapon, well, you've already fucked up and lost control of the battlefield somehow. Uh, and if I use, if I deploy a melee weapon, it is purely so that I can create enough distance to then deploy one of my ranged weapons, like the auto shotgun or something. He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? Uh, no, I was not affected by the I-25 shutdown yesterday. Uh, I live and work in Pueblo. Uh, so Monday through Friday, I rarely ever have any reason to be on uh, I-25 outside of town. You know, just hopping on the interstate real quick for and go past a couple of exits to get where I'm headed in town. No shit. Actually, I didn't even know there was an I-25 shutdown yesterday. Now, when the uh, when they had that bridge collapse and the train fucking collapsed it, we were affected by that because that was you know several days that that was messed up oh yeah yeah d marlo you're right bud good thinking man shit i was right there ah good call brother all right, so uh, most of you will know this already. Uh, if you have watched my Hidden Loot Locations videos, you will know that right here, let's just take a quick look at it so I can show new players where it is. If you're at this Nero checkpoint and you're looking off the backside of the Nero checkpoint, there's a little shack down here, right down here, um, that has a ready-to-use military-grade explosive proximity mine. I think there's also a fully crafted, uh, the fully crafted Molotov down there as well, and some other stuff that we'll grab too. Uh, but this is a great spot to pick up this kind of stuff in the early game. Uh, in fact, if you're following my uh, Get Your SMP9 Early video, you'll have already found this by this point. I do recommend parking the bike in a position where you can make a quick getaway. Just go ahead and leave it turned around where you can get out quickly and easily. Yeah, here we go. We're full up on Molotovs, though. Uh, but you can get a Growler if you have the Napalm Molotov recipe. There's usually crafting materials on this corpse here. There's also a med kit and a baseball bat here. So that's helpful, too. Yeah, good call, DeMarlo. Thanks, man. I would have forgotten that. Because we're not doing the get your SMP9 early thing. I didn't even go to the... I didn't even think about the hidden loot locations.
I am kind of out of sorts because I'm not doing my normal start on a new new playthrough. Oh, shit. What, what do you think? We should probably just go ahead and give these bandages to Boozer. Or do y'all want to go ahead and head north and do the ambush camp next? Let's Since we've got the rock chuck out, let's go ahead and head up here to this ambush camp. And let's do this first instead. Literally by muscle memory and habit, I was headed toward Marion Forks. That's what I do next at this point. Uh, but let's instead go do this uh, ambush camp for Copeland. We'll run through there with the rock chuck. A three-vehicle accident, 18-wheeler and two cars. Damn, and a hazmat spill from the 18-wheeler. Oh, that's rough, man. I'm, I am glad we actually kind of don't end up traveling I-25 all that much, especially outside of town. Uh, unless we're headed up to Denver or Springs or something, we don't, we don't really have to get on the interstate too much. It runs right through the middle of town, but like I said, we normally just use it just to hop off an exit or two to you know get a little further uptown or something. So there is an alternate approach to this camp. I think, yeah, right here is the point where the trail splits. The mission marker, the yellow line on the mini-map, will lead you up this path here. That actually kind of takes you right up in the middle of the camp, or like closer to them. If you come around this left path here, take the left hand path, uh, you can come around this side, and it allows you to get to some scrap and some fuel before you alert the enemy. Sorry, right, here's the rock chuck. Let's use it for some suppressed kills on these wolves so that we don't aggro the camp nearby. That's another thing that the... Well, I would say really what the rock chuck is just great for is when an enemy gets the drop on you like that and you're just caught flat-footed and you have no option but to go loud with a... Well, I would go loud with a firearm. Uh, the rock chuck allows you to immediately deploy pretty heavy firepower quickly and quietly so where like the the auto shotgun would have triggered this camp you know oh scott you miss colorado huh yeah i hear you i love it here man i really do like i i legit dig this place i love the climate here in pueblo specifically uh pueblo is actually in a really nice little bubble where uh the weather is generally pretty nice here man Yes, we get snow. Yes, it gets hot in the summer. Uh, it gets cold in the winter. It's fucking Colorado. Yeah, it gets cold in the winter. But most of the time, it's like a crisp, clear cold that's not intolerable at all. And when it's hot, it's like a crisp, clear heat that's not oppressive humidity. It's nice, man. I really like it here. Yeah, yeah, the air is kind of crisp. Well, I, I don't know that I'd say clean, especially here in Pueblo, because, you know, we have the steel mill here in town and uh, fucking uh, train yards and all all kinds of factories and industrialization going on here in Pueblo. That It is the steel city, uh, as they call it. So I don't know that the air is crisp and clean here, but it's, it's, it's crisp and dry. It's not humid and nasty. It is nice and clean in other parts of the state, like up in the mountains. Oh, man. I love going up to uh, up to the top of Pikes Peak. That's a lot of fun. Uh, God damn killer views up there, man. I've got pictures of sitting in the visitor center. There's like a little dining area in the visitor center at the top of Pikes Peak. You're something like, good Lord, 16,000 feet or something. Uh, you can look out the windows of the little dining center up there. And the clouds are below you. Like, the, the bottom of the clouds is below you. It's fucking nuts. I should be using more Molotovs. Oh, Phoenix! Oh, Southeast Utah! That's not very far. Yeah. So let's have a look at what the rock chuck can do. 
Even at that range, you're getting easy headshots all day long. Tops out at 14,000. I think it's actually higher than that. I think the visitor center is higher than 14,000. Now, I could be mistaken. I do not recall the exact numbers, but I seem to recall thinking it was 14 and being told, no, dude, that's lowballing it. What do you think? You're going to let that fly? I have not lived in Oregon. We traveled to Oregon. Uh, Claire and I, 8 Bit Terror, host of the Days Gone podcast, uh, she and I took a Days Gone inspired trip through Oregon. Uh, but I've never lived there, no. Hmm, 14,000, okay. Fair enough. Oh, it was fucking amazing, dude. Yeah, I mean, I... It is literally breathtaking beyond words. Uh... Most uh, and now we didn't we didn't go as far as the coast and we didn't go into any of the big cities. We only went up Highway 97 through we went into Bend. Uh, we did actually go into the town of Bend, Oregon, uh, you know, and we explored the areas that are in the game a bit. So we didn't see any of the big cities. We didn't see the coast or anything. Most of what we saw was like mountains and forest and stuff. Uh, and it's literally breathtaking beyond words. Every curve in the road, every time you come around a curve, there's another just breathtaking view. Uh, it's insane. Oh, Phoenix, you lived in Oregon. Okay. And you went through Bend before the game came out. Wow, that's cool. Oh, let's see. Swing for greatness <laughs> is uh, asking, is Claire working on a new Days Gone podcast episode? Uh, no, uh, not actively. Uh, the Days Gone podcast is not necessarily done or dead at all. Uh, it's just kind of, how do you top having John Garvin and Sam Whitwer as guests? I, I don't know that we can. Let's actually use the crossbow a little bit. We have the crossbow with us. Let's mess around with it, shall we? I mean, we know the rock chuck is a badass silence weapon. What was that? There. Okay, we got a kill, but not a head. It's like got him in the shoulder. I was expecting that to be a headshot. We got our bolt back. That is nice. I do forget about that. Got another bolt back. That is nice. Uh, I do wish that you could pick up your crafted bolts. Or I wish that there were locations in the world where you could pick up crafted bolts. I think that would be really cool. Uh, do we have this selected as our mission? I was hoping to see a, a count on how many we've taken and how many we have left. Not the fuel can, dummy. Let's see if we can get this guy. What do y'all think? Is it the second marker or probably the third marker at that range? Let's wait until this person disappears. And then we'll get that other guy who's over there by himself. How's it going? No Bass Pro Shop in the apocalypse, huh? Alright, never mind. We're going to do something a little bit different. We have the drifter crossbow. Let's actually use a residue bolt, man. See if we can get this sniper to take out some of his buddies. Now, you don't need a headshot. You just need to stick it in him. Oh, that's not even a sniper. Look, at it. dude's got a crappy little pistol. That's supposed to be a sniper standing there. Zylog DNB, finally a crossbow only run. I don't know about crossbow only, but we will be using the crossbow. Come on. 
But see, guys, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is why I don't use residue bolts. Do you... Okay, there's one kill. And he should die soon. I think the residue bolt will give us a guaranteed kill on him. Oh, you can't see the reticle? Okay. It's too faint on screen. Okay, so that gave us two kills. Residue Bolt gave us two kills. And, like, I get it. You you want to pick the correct enemies. You want to use, like, the heavies and stuff like that. Enemies who have a good weapon. I, I understand the nuances there. I get it. Who was that? But, uh, just never have been very impressed with it. Is he planning to come up here? Come on, give me a shot. There we go. Alright, only one more. And there he is. That's the last of them. Jesus Christ. So you can pull off headshots pretty consistently once you get the hang of it. Now, I haven't done much at, like, long range yet, so... Well, actually, I'm not going to bother crafting bolts yet. Let's not craft any bolts until we've gone around and picked up uh, from the enemies. Because we may have bolts. We may get some bolts back from them. This has got to so be what I want to do, I want to activate shot. this and then go ahead and open up the ambush camp bunker. Okay. And uh, I've explained before uh, in some of my other walkthroughs that we've done... The reason I do this, I save the corpses until after you have unlocked the crafting recipe. Once you go down here and unlock the crafting recipe from this ambush camp, that then causes a chance of picking up those items from corpses. You know, whatever, whatever's in that recipe, whether it's cans or gunpowder, whatever, uh, you now have a chance to pick it up from the corpses that are in the world. Now... Currently, that doesn't mean anything for us because we already have everything unlocked, but I'm just showing it as the technique. What we'll do is we'll open up the bunker here, uh, and then we'll go around and uh, loot the corpses and pick up our bolts that we can re get back and whatever crafting supplies we there get. We go. Drop it! If you cannibal have Corpse. Bullets, Who's listening to Cannibal Corpse? Would I? I listen to Cannibal Corpse. Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Need got another beer so you're only seeing through, uh, so you're seeing good through both eyes. Pantera! Jesus Fuck yeah. Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around okay, here. Okay, I wasn't going to go pick up yet. Not going around picking stuff up yet. We're going this way. Go to the bunker. Open the bunker. Yeah, she's got a Ruger 1022. That's one rifle I do not own that I I should absolutely own a Ruger 1022. Super fun little rifle. My buddy Jeremy McGee, he's got one with a fucking hundred round drum magazine. Can you imagine a one hundred round drum magazine on a fucking little 1022? It's it's plink 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 all day long, dude. It's fucking great. Most fun I'd had in years shooting that little thing. Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up, yeah, and that They can hit hard. Really, for me, it's a training weapon for teaching uh, youngsters and new shooters. Guess uh, you know, new people uh, who are wanting to learn firearm safety uh, and improve their accuracy and shot placement. I, I highly recommend training on the 1022. That's what you use to teach your kids how to shoot, man. I'm going to climb the tower, see if I can see anything. We 
we haven't even used the little stubby yet. All right, what time is it? 5.21. Oh, fuck that. We're going to bed. No, I'm playing. We're not going to bed. I'm joking. Uh, do need to find that ladder out of here, though. Here, I'm lost again because I don't have a mini map. There it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, now we'll start looting when it lets us. Hey, Deke, you okay? You don't sound like like yourself. Now, it's listen nice to this bit right here. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Well, what here in a second, I want to show you what I'm talking about. Because they show you... Looking for smoke okay. on the horizon to find yes. Yes. I let her marauder go. camp. That is inaccurate. It's not correct. Smoke on the horizon is used yeah, to find well, ambush it, camps. Right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right. Let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. 1022 breakdown. I'm not familiar with that. What does the breakdown signify? Right. I mean, I know Ruger 1022, a little, uh, you know, 22 so rimfire rifle. I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm. GameStop and a tool store, yeah. I'll take care of him. Uh, Warhorse, you calling it a night? All right, man. Hey, thanks for being here, bud. Have a good evening. Just try to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, 1022 would come in handy when the squirrels rise up. <laughs> the squirrel uprising of 2026. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I see. You can take off the uh, barrel and the receiver and break into two pieces. Well, that's interesting. I guess that makes it modular so you can put in different barrels and different receivers and stuff. Almost. <laughs> Scott, yeah. On, it's probably best not to say. <clears throat> oh, shit's killing me. <laughs> all right, do that. Now let's see what all we can pick up. Here's a little vial of poison, so now we can make poison bolts. Ooh, we just got a fully crafted pipe bomb. Nice. I don't think I can even craft those yet because I don't have any, uh... I don't have a small pipe. Oh, we got a bolt back. Okay, that's nice. Oh, yeah, it should be a couple more of those, right? Looks like that's all we're going to get from here. I'm do a few more of these. Need some more poison before I can do more of those. Nice. Okay, we're pretty well full up on stuff. Or what we can get from here, I think. Don't need that ammo from the police vehicle there. And I think we've raided all the corpses here too. Corpses here too. Uh, one more over here, okay? Nice. Freakers. All right, let's head back to the bike here. <laughs> Ross, I haven't missed much. We're just still going from earlier.
St. John to Copeland's camp. It's oh, I see what the breakdown right rifle is more expensive. I, I guess it would be. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> now, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir. I hope to God you're wrong about that. Copeland out. Yeah, I actually want to go... No, we don't need to... Huh. All right. Well, let's just go to O'Leary Mountain then. Radio Free Oregon. Was there a Jeez, horde nearby? What have I done? It's giving me the fight or flight thing. I don't think there's actually a horde nearby, though. I see some enemies of aggro on me back there. If we do see a horde, we are taking them out. Showing me the yellow marker at the Oldery Mountain safe house. So it should be showing me the yellow marker up here at the top of the hill. This is Radio Free Oregon. The Not today, Cope. I'm having too good of a day, Cope, to let your bullshit spoil it for me. Radio Free Oregon, I know, right? Hmm, 45 ACP and 38 Special for pistols. I'm a 9mm guy myself, just keep it simple. What used to be inexpensive ammo. My dream gun, the one that I really want, is a Generation 1 Smith & Wesson MMP 45. Uh, to me, that is just... That is just a badass looking firearm. I don't even know if they're that good as a weapon. I really like my Smith & Wesson MMP shield that I have. And I like my MMP, uh, just the standard MMP 2.0. Uh, those are both fine, fine firearms. Uh, I've got thousands and thousands of rounds through both of them. Found some shit for your arm. Boozer. Boozer. Hey. Ah! Hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, I see a lot of law enforcement trade-in or law enforcement buyback oh, MMP 45 pistols available online. Uh, I, I haven't pulled the trigger on one. Don't really have any need for one. I, I have a nice pistol, a nice handgun. I have two nice handguns. I don't really feel a need for more, but... I do like I'll the MMP forty five. Okay. That's a nice looking pistol. We're gonna be fine. Yo, Schmo, O two sixteen. What's up, Joe? How you doing, man? All right. Smoke on the mountain. <laughs> HK USP 45, yeah. If I could afford it. But honestly, I'm not like a fancy gun kind of guy. Like, my, my completely serviceable and reliable MMP 9mm is... That's the only handgun I'll probably ever own, honestly. Uh, I don't think I would ever purchase more. I don't see a need for more. I have, <clears throat> I have my MMP shield... Uh, which is a, you know, small, uh, compact, concealed carry sidearm. And then I have my regular, I guess you'd say medium-sized, uh, the M&P, uh, 2.0. I don't really see any use for anything else. Like, there's certainly not a need 
that I have to fill that I would need another firearm for. Except for maybe a Ruger 1022, like I was talking about. I'd love to have a little 22 rifle. Booze man, you oh, these have already I'm, respawned. Uh, that That's interesting. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Dick it out. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, uh, I have, again, the Smith, Smith & Wesson MMP uh, AR-15. I think it's the Sport 2 version of their AR-15. Uh, and I have uh, <clears throat> a knockoff of the uh, Remington 870 shotgun. Uh, it's just a clone, a Turkish-made clone, uh, but it's a good shotgun. It's fucking Remington 870. Uh, or, or modeled after, like, the original Remington 870s, which you can't hardly go wrong with that for a pump-action shotgun. Uh, and then, uh, so I have the shotgun and the rifle, and then the two the two handguns that I mentioned, the Smith & Wesson Shield and the uh, MMP 2.0. Okay, this is both it. Both in 9mm. Yeah. Oh, and those are really the only the only guns I see any real use for for myself. Uh, I have a rifle, a shotgun, and a couple of good pistols. I don't... Uh, yeah, see much nah, need for anything nah, else. Like, I get, like, if you're a collector and you're just oh, into nah, having nah, a bunch yeah. of guns, well, there's that, but that's not me. I don't want to own anything that I don't actually have a use for. That's one thing that's kind of weird about me. I, I don't want to own anything that I don't actually have a use for it, because I don't want anything just sitting there collecting dust for no fucking reason. No, no, you're going to get yourself killed, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Dick. Dick, wait till tonight. You were freaks inside those nests. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Now, which one of these has a sniper rifle? Hey, that was kind of the plan. Deacon out. <laughs> An old school Winchester. You'll have a need of it. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I'd like to have... Now, like, again, I have, like, my dream guns or whatever. Uh, for shotgun, I'd want, like, a Mossberg 590. I think it's the Mossberg 590A1. Uh, and then uh, the CZ-175 or CZ-75 SP-01 uh, for a pistol. And... Uh, I don't know. I'd like to have a honey badger <laughs> for uh for a rifle. Oh, cool! There's freaks running in on them, or a freaker running in on them. I'd really like to see which one has the sniper rifle. Oh, check that! It's kind of cool imagery there. With four flashlights on him. Hopefully the noise will bring in more freakers. <laughs> the freakers are over there killing some of them too. Okay, let's get back to concealment. I still don't see which one had a sniper rifle. See, two shotguns there. Maybe a melee weapon. Yeah, melee weapon. And I think that one, one with the hat on. I can't tell what they're carrying. Just a sidearm, just a pistol. Alright. Which one had a shotgun? Yeah, let me get this guy with the shotgun here. We'll let a shotgunner do some damage with a residue bolt for a sec. See what happens. Oh, MacDougal. Yeah, I I actually I did play Uncharted. I didn't really care for them. Um, yeah, I didn't really have much fun with those games. Now, I started with Uncharted 1, which kind of hasn't aged very well, I would say. In my opinion, uh, as Claire says. And... Uh, Uncharted 2, which was a better, more streamlined gameplay experience, 
Uh, but yeah, I just I like having. Uh, I like having skill trees. I like having an inventory. I like having a game that allows you to find a synergy between skills, gear, and playstyle, where that's that's not at all the type of experience that was intended with the Uncharted games. Those games are intended to be a, a an interactive movie, basically, uh, where you're just uh, riding the rails through the movie, basically. Okay, residue bolts are dumb and boring. I saw someone out there. Bend down! Do you see the range on that rock chuck? That was a crazy long headshot. Not do the bear Loser, traps. he's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more you know, killing. Hey, there's a there's a bear trap right there. You should step in it. Yeah, it'll be great. You'll dig it. I should have been there. <laughs> to help, I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north this I'm getting me a rock chuck. I heard that. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Fucking badass sure. little gun, man really enjoy it especially being able to have it all the way through on a new game plus playthrough because like like we were saying earlier um Good you now. can't unlock it until the yeah, late game right up to um, the like really really late finished. game uh so Sorry. it's kind of you know you don't get to enjoy it much Rest on a zero. standard we're playthrough. North as soon as you can ride north you say you were heading north? Who's man? No. You know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Okay, let's see if we can craft. Yeah, I know. Craft. I just. Oh, kinda... I can craft uh, one of these guys now. Oh, third one degree birds will do that to you. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, why not? Take care of Alvarez, you know. Deke. We need more cans before we can craft any of these. All right. Take care of her. Loser, just get some rest. Deacon out. Grab some of these. And we need more mushrooms before we can craft any more of those. Okay. Deke. Oh, God damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? Yeah, I've got a couple of games that I can play over and over, like older games. It just doesn't matter whether they've aged well or not. I'll still play them. I was playing Morrowind the other day, just kind of for fun. I hadn't, like, seriously started a new playthrough or anything. I knew I was just playing for fun, uh, but I fucking fired up Morrowind the other night. Oh, hey, I've missed saying hello to some folks. Man, I'm sorry. Uh, I missed saying hello to Alex. Alex Andrew, hello and welcome, man. Uh, good to see you. And also Mikey. Mikey, welcome in, guys. Uh, if I've missed anyone else, I, I sincerely apologize. Uh, pop up in the chat. I'll try to give you a little shout. If I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Let's go oh, do this bike chase. Alive. 
I want to do this bike chase. Catch this man. Because we're going to do it with the, uh, <laughs> we could do it with explosive bolts. <laughs> that would be too easy. Uh, I was actually going to do it with the, uh, rock chuck. I, I'm sorry. I mean to say the little stubby. Uh, that's our sidearm on this one. I like the little stubby, especially the late game mill spec one that you get. Uh, it's really accurate. It does incredible damage with the magazine upgrade. It has like eight rounds, I think. Don't ask me. But of course, that doesn't carry over to New Game Plus. Deke. Oh, God damn it. I'm sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cole? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Then he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. We'll fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. <laughs> oh, Kalanapit is mixed. Oh, good lord. You trying to get fucked up, dog. Good night, Scott. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Alex, absolutely. Yeah, Morrowind on PC, yeah. Um, I would just explore for hours in that game. I had a, I had a, a character I used to play a lot. I had him set up where I had enchanted an item to grant the ability to breathe underwater. Uh, and then I also had an item that increased his speed by like 200%. Uh, and an item that granted like one or two points of levitate. Uh, and the thing about levitate is if you only have one or two points of levitate, well, you move very slowly. But with the item that increased his movement speed by 200%, uh, I was literally able to fly anywhere and everywhere and also could go underwater all the time easily as well. It was great. Oh, check it out. There's freaks fighting wolves over there. Now, the reason I came over here, we had a question mark over here, and I thought we were going to have the survivor rescue right here. But I guess not. <laughs> the wolf just went in the water. He'll die in the water. I think he's actually dead. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I saw the little blue question mark, and I could have sworn that would be for the um, survivor rescue here. We have the little tracking stuff over here. I guess we could have a look at that. I've never followed the tracking on well, pretty much any of these, actually. All right. What have we got? You're mine now. Now, never follow the tracks directly. That's a tip from 8-Bit Terror. Don't walk directly in the tracks, because that's how you end up getting caught in the traps. What do we got? Where are we going? Well, I actually don't know where this is leading us. This is it. Oh, what the hell happened here? Okay, just a freaker kill. Anything worth, the effort. anything worth the effort? Probably not. Well, okay, we are going a little further up the hill, all right. You can see the rock chuck is actually pretty weak by itself. If you're not doing headshots with it, it doesn't do much damage. Um, Boozer is crafting oh, stuff for us now. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. Here we are. Oh, hey, I needed mushrooms too. There we go. All right, let's get back to the bike.
All right, we're going to go do this bike chase with the shotgun. Very different from how I normally do it with the SMP9. Nest infestation zone. Sure smells like it. <clears throat> gotta burn it down. I gotta clear them out. We'll wait on the nest and stuff. We'll do that later. No, wait, God dang it. That's it's not the mission I wanted. The mission I wanted was the bike chase. All right, well, we'll do this while we're here. Oh, the snare in the barn, yeah. Yeah, I remember the first time I got caught in one of the rope traps. That was actually the last time that I stopped following the blue question marks. I was like, oh, yeah, no, we're not falling for that again. Gotta take a closer look. All right, where? Huh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> Make something out of this. <laughs> got it. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Uh. 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 Who's Who's man? Are Whoa, you uh, did y'all see that shit? It just moved that freaker. Whoa, that was weird. Wait, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, D. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. And don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not going to do anything stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was weird, man. It was like last week's episode. I led a rager bear into a horde, and they started attacking the rager bear, and he just took off flying. It just, they just yeeted him like hundreds of yards away. It was crazy. <clears throat> Where the hell did I just end up at? I didn't even know you could exit. Wait, wait, never mind. Here we go. Here's where we're going. I got lost because I don't have a mini map. Yeah, don't lie, Deacon. You do stupid shit all the time. Like, literally all the time. No, 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 I don't, I do not want to do these missions right now. What I wanted to do was the one that fucking Copeland told me about. The bike chase. I don't want to do the, I guess we have to do the Nero mission whoa, right whoa, now. Whoa, hold on, hold like on. Like we don't no have any down. option, we have to do Looks this Looks like one. they're stopping. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, see, Deacon's about to do some stupid shit right now and go follow some Nero scientist. <laughs> Literally doing stupid shit right now. Oh, I'm top off on the whiskey. Splash, at least. Yeah, guys, do check out the merch. I see Nightbot just put in a link to the merch store there. Um, and I just realized I haven't mentioned the merch tonight. What the hell 
Uh, do check that out, man. That's we we set up the merch store for you guys. That's not for us. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's cool. I like having merch, uh, like my merch out there. I think that's awesome. But it's not for us. It's for you guys. It's so that you have a way to not only represent your love of the community, but also a way that you can support the community by getting yourself something nice. Now, we actually, we don't get like a big kickback off of that. Uh, we only get like a it's pretty small markup that we get off of the merch. But we do get a little something, and you get a little something too. So it's, I'm, I'm not just trying to sell you a fucking t-shirt, man. Uh, there's actually really good stuff in there. Uh, tanks, teas, stickers, coffee mugs, notebooks, phone cases. Pro pillows. Yeah, go check it out. For real. Like, for real. Doesn't hurt to look. From the subject's hibernation location at... Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? Doug, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a good suggestion. Shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at... We should be back up at that area to do that bike chase mission. Trampling up Soon. grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by... But yeah... You know, we were talking about the merch. Um, right now, specifically for the month of March, all of the revenue that we generate will be helping with uh, Days Gone Calm coming up in April. Uh, so, like, even if you're not going to be able to make it to Days Gone Calm, you can still help us make that happen. Uh, any any merch that y'all purchase from the merch store, any viewer contributions that y'all make, uh, gifted memberships, Super chats, uh, all of that stuff. Folks that um, join as new members, all of that revenue that we generate in March will specifically be helping. It reset me, didn't it? Dang it. Uh, trying to talk business. Anyway, all the revenue we generate this month will be helping us out uh, for Days Gone Calm next month. You got me all mixed up now. Here we go. Nightbot has earned five cookies. Good job, Nightbot. Good job. Uh, yeah, shit, I'm starting to get tired. It'll be time to shut it down soon. It has been a long couple of days at work, man. Like I said, we did. We started Harvest. Uh, I started helping with Harvest yesterday. Uh, and that's always a, a busy physically active day. 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Here we go. Your theory about the subjects All right, let's try not to screw it up this time. Of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. And report. Not going inside. Fucking go Did you hear me? Over 400 like subjects. And these yeah, aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. And what the hell is this? They're sleep babies. No, 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 forget it. And I asked if you were going in. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Not on purpose. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah. Actually, yes, on purpose. <laughs> I was one of the survivors at the White King Mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like it was peeling. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. Not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Yeah, this plot Jesus. armor, it protects you from a lot of shit. Not them. From the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Seal the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. <laughs> Interesting. You should say that, Deacon. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. Okay, so if you want a pro tip for this mission or these types of missions, make sure you don't have your flashlight turned on. You have your flashlight turned on, they'll spot you every time. Did 
those mushrooms respawn? Didn't I pick those up on my way in? Oh, yeah. I did pick them up. <laughs> a few minutes later, you know, I think it's a good idea to seal these caves here, Iron Mike. Hmm. The plague was spotted in Deschutes. Which plague? <clears throat> We're going out! Hold up! Hold up! Look, look through! Go, go, go! Let's go! <laughs> no shit. Wild. Hey, yeah. we've unlocked residue bolts. That's the one. Oh yeah, we're way off. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Let's go burn Alvarez. Hey, I'm here. When we rode on a farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. What, what are you? We had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh God, O'Brien. You wouldn't shut up about it. You wouldn't it. shut up about it. Three finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they. Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the? Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't. Not. I love how he's just standing there with his lighter out. He's got his Zippo out and the Molotov. Just standing there. Deacon out. Holding the Molotov sideways where the uh, combustible liquid is spilling out of it onto his pants. Ah, that's fucking brilliant. This is Radio Free Oregon. Oh, Cope. She'll set you free. Trying to burn people. I think so, Cope. Not today. Rest in peace. They can't get you now. Yeah, she rode with us. And it is interesting, you come back here and the corpse is all, like, desiccated and gone. It's just like a skeleton and stuff. It's crazy. It is so easy to get lost in the Cascades. I have to remind myself constantly to just yeah, slow down care of it. here. Alvarez, I mean. You know, just kind of ride the trails and slow down a little bit. She did the same for us. Yeah, she would have. Now, I'm not worried about collecting meat from wolves and stuff, because uh, like I said, we're maxed out at all the camps right now. It's a new game plus playthrough. We already have uh, level three trust everywhere. I don't need meat or really bounties. We'll be turning in some, of course, as we play. Uh, we don't really need them, though. See right there, I was trying to go full throttle. I was like, no, no, no. This is the Cascades. Slow the fuck down. See? You don't slow down and you do a tactical stop into a tree. Who, Cope? One of them 
was a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No, I guess not. Ah, hello. Uh, I don't want to mispronounce your name, so I'm going to call you T40. Welcome in, T40. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm really having a good time here. Uh, I haven't played Survival 2 in a long time, uh, and I do like it. It, it, it kind of makes you live in the world a little bit. Okay, let's take a look around. Can use this. Yeah, so what I'd like to do for this mission, I'd like to use the shotgun, uh, the little stubby. Uh, we could, of course, use just like explosive bolts from the crossbow. That's a lot of fun. It's a little too easy, though. Uh, I want to see how the little stubby does. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Back on track. There he is. There he is. Silver helmet. Red gas tank. That's it. <laughs> Currently addicted to this game. Uh, you're not alone. You are not alone. So you you'd ride into Copeland's camp. I shoot the place up. That about right. Kill a few this has got to be playthrough number 20 right or something for me. Or more. Three shots. At last. Three shots. From the little stubby shotgun. Has a very good sidearm. What did you... <coughs> Do you son of a yeah, bitch. the little stubs, no, no, no. little stoops. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, Cope kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself. Uh, that's a good one. Truth. And it's like it's kind of like the baseball bat axe. I, I think of it as an iconic Days Gone weapon because to have Deacon like reloading that shotgun as he was driving the motorcycle there, that was just a great cinematic moment. You little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Right. Cope, it's done. I got it. All right, let's head back up to O'Leary Mountain. Yeah, set marker, please. Actually, set marker. Adam, uh, you set a marker. on these coordinates and send your man out here. Uh, is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's going to stay that way. Deacon out. Okay, just up to the top of the hill here. Surely I can go that far without getting lost. Boozer, you there? I'm just calling to check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Uh, I hope so. God, I miss you, open road. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're passed up, we're out of here. Deacon out. Yeah, yeah, Dandy Dini, that's right. The little stubby uh, shotgun is in a lot of the promo material uh, for when the game uh, was before it was released. This yeah. is Radio Free Oregon. No, the it's not. It's not Radio Free Oregon. Go, go, it's free up. of Radio Oregon. Well, check it out. Stuff has already respawned here. So we should, uh, in the next episode, we should totally go around to the hidden loot locations and start filling up on that stuff. Come on. Oh, and uh, Boozer made us some stuff as well. Uh, he said he had uh, filled up the little scrap box there. Which I'm not used to that happening so early in my playthrough, because generally I wait a long time before I go get the bandages. And it's after you get the bandages for him that he starts crafting stuff. And he's feeling well enough to craft for you. Oh shit, we got five bolts out of that too. That's nice. Alright, well that is it for me for tonight. Let's go ahead and make a save game here at the bike. Uh, so we'll have a good spot to kick off from next week. Um, there we go. And, oh, let's do a little photo mode, shall we? Let's be a little iconic with it. There we go. All right, man, I've had so much fun tonight. I'm telling you, really had a lot of fun. Uh, I, I 
honestly hadn't planned to start a new playthrough tonight. I hadn't planned to do Survival 2, and I hadn't planned to do the crossbow. That was all kind of last minute. Ah, fuck it. Let's do something different thinking. Uh, so, yeah, um, I, I do enjoy it. I, I needed to change stuff up a little bit. I've been playing Days Gone exactly the same way every single time for too many times now. Uh, it is time to switch things up a little bit. So baby steps, right? Baby steps. <laughs> we'll make little changes here and there. But yeah, it's been a blast. Thank you so much, um, guys. Uh, Doug and Selby, thank you so much for the uh, the gifted memberships tonight. That really does help out a lot. Like I said, we're trying to get ready for Days Gone Calm next month. So all of that is going to help. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm kind of done talking now. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for your support. We'll see you all next time.